It's okay. Come, the stars await, and we mustn't keep them. Captain. expanse. It's easy to forget sometimes. You can say that again. But we made it. To Zega Grande Skydom. <laughs> now we're a step closer to finishing our journey! <laughs> it's nice we're getting closer to our goal and everything. But... I was thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if our adventures never ended? To me, seeing the world with everyone is so much fun. I sort of wish that it could go on forever and ever. You read my mind. Looks like the ship's flying steady again. Let's go check on the others. Um, Catalina? What is it, Lyria? What do you think is out there? At the end of the Sky Realm, I mean. A wall, maybe? <laughs> if there is, it'd be pretty tall. Oh, now that you bring it up, I guess I've never thought about it before. Hey. Can I ask you something? What do you think is at the end of the world? <laughs> we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> I knew you'd say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, we know there's at least two things waiting for us out there. First is Estelucia, the island of the Astros, and second is your dad. I can't imagine what adventures we're in for next. We'll just have to keep going and see for ourselves. <laughs> you and Lyria are totally in sync. <laughs> You're certainly in high spirits, Lyria. <laughs> I'm just excited to start a brand new adventure. Me too. Who knows what we'll find in this skydom. Ah, oh, man. 
can feel that wind flowing through your hair. <laughs> it does have a certain nostalgic quality to it. Wait, does that mean you've been to the Sky Dump before, Rosetta? Oh, sweetie. <laughs> I can't start giving away my secrets now. Aw, you never give me a straight answer. Because you've got no filter. Maybe you'll understand when you're older. Zip it! I've told you a bunch of times, stop treating me like a baby! She's right, Rackham. Eo is a mature, sophisticated lady. <laughs> Two against one ain't fair. Play nice, Rackham. Aw, oh, come on. Three against one? I was just teasing. Sorry for having a little fun. Ugh, if anybody's the immature one, it's Rackham. Oh, Eo. Just forget about him. Think about these new skies we get to explore. Skydom. Reminds me of my younger days. Got me falling in love with the skies all over again. But you can rest easy. I'm keeping an eye on the horizon. Anything comes close to the ship, and you'll be the first to know. We're glad to have your eagle eye, Eugen. Yep. That's why I always eat my carrots. Why don't you go check on the rest of the crew? I got things covered up here. We're on the verge of entering a new Skydom. No knees up now, Captain. <laughs> Seems like everyone's in high spirits. Should be seeing signs of civilization soon. I hope the island has a hotel. Huh? Heads up! We got monsters! It's a whole flock of wyverns. Were they hiding in the club? Out! Eo! Ah. Rosetta! Uh -huh. You're too head of the lizards on the port Run side! On it! Eely jerks! Out of our way! Sure showed those losers. <laughs> you can't mess with the best. 
Nearly dodged it. But no guarantees we'll look out twice. This distance, evasion's gotta be iffy. Everyone, hang on to your butts! Wah! You're gonna kill us first, Jackal! Yeah! yeah! You see that? It appears we're still alive. At the start? Bahamut's near the bow. Now's our chance to attack! Keep up the pressure! Did that work? Okay now. Jeez, really had me worried there. I. Lyria! Lyria's voice echoed through the darkness. It was familiar. Painfully familiar. Just like the day we met. Before this whole long journey began. Though I could barely use my sword, I tried to protect Lyria from the Empire. I almost died. But then... You protected me. Now it's my turn to save you. Take my power. Let it guide you. Let it become your strength. I know you can do this. <laughs> Our lives are linked. While I may not fully understand how, Lyria gave half her life to save me. Her gift gave me the push I needed to pursue my own quest, finding Estelusia, Island of the Astrals. It was a fabled place at the end of the sky, where dreams are said to come true. Lyria and I? Not to mention our ever-growing crew, are still continuing our search. But someday... Someday we'll find it. And finally, the life link between us will... Huh? Where... am I? Oh, right. Lyria fell from a ship, then... Vern and I left after her. <laughs> you gotta wake up! Come on! Open your eyes! I said wake up! <sighs> you okay, buddy? 
Mm-hmm. Jeez. Scared me half to death, you know? <sighs> Dream about Lyria again? Maybe you bumped your head on the way down. Uh, speaking of Lyria, I didn't see where she fell. She should be close. Let's search the area. Now, let's lose these trees and meet up with the crew. Now that I think about it, the first time we met was in a forest like this. I was thinking about that too. Back in Zinkinsville, right? Yeah, we've sure come a long way, huh? I wonder how everybody back home's doing. Yoink. Maybe could use this. What you have? Great! Ugh, more monsters! You ready?
more where that came from. Now, forward march. Hmm. I think I can see a path on the other side. Too, Vern. Get in position, people. We can take it out if we link our attacks. Do my best. What can I say? <laughs> Get 
is running out of juice. A little more in the day's out. Oh, you're in for it. Not yet. No more light yet. Nice. Let's do this. You guys rock! Captain! Oh, glad we made it in time. Forgive me for being late, Captain. Hope you saved some fun for me. Ooh, looks like everyone's no worse for wear. Oh, thanks for the save, Oigan. Lyria, about what happened with Bahamut. Do you have it under control now? Yes, I think I do. Uh, why did it flip out on us? I don't really know. Well, hanging out here isn't gonna help. How about we head back to the Grand Cipher? I'm with Eo. Better get moving before more monsters get the munchies. In that case, maybe we should follow this trail instead. I have a feeling it leads to a nearby town. Doesn't that sound like the perfect place to learn more about Zega Grande? But what about the Grand Cipher? She's sitting pretty behind some cliffs past the forest. But that last tussle in the sky dinged her up a bit. Be great if we could grab repairs. Then it's settled. Into town we go. Huh, wonder if they got any plump, juicy apples. Oh, Vern, you're always thinking about food. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's talking. Uh, my tummy always picks the worst time to growl. <laughs> you heard Lyria's stomach. Let's go find that town. Oh, wonder what kind of city it'll be. Can't wait to find out. Know what I'm wondering? How'd you guys fall from that high up without a scratch? It's a miracle. Good question. Maybe the canopy broke our fall. In any case, we got lucky. Hey, any skyfarer who tells you life ain't about luck is a liar in my book. Don't mind if I do. Look, I see building. <laughs> Seems like a pleasant place to unwind. Only one way to find out. Let's go! Check out the airships. Probably got a strong trade network going. Kind of reminds me of good old Port Breeze. We should look for a place where Lyria can rest. 
Me? But I feel fine. You've had a rough afternoon today. You shouldn't push yourself too hard. I know, but we're in a brand new town and I want to explore it with everyone. Well, Captain? Enjoy some time to yourselves, everyone. Yay! <laughs> Where you guys get your energy from? <laughs> if Lyria's up for a little excursion, then I don't see the harm in it. In the meantime, I'll grab the Grand Cipher. Should be a dock around here somewhere. As for me, I'm hankering to try the local brews they got in these parts. We just got here and you already need a drink? What's with you, geezers? What? I deserve a refreshing cocktail after a long hike. Ugh, you don't deserve anything. <laughs> You're all too much. Anyway, after exploring for a bit, let's meet back at that big building over there. Come on! I want to take a look around! I can't wait to explore. I love visiting new places for the first time. <laughs> I have to say, you're a real lifesaver. Well then, see you next time. It's always a pleasure. Ah, come again. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Sierra. <laughs> what? It's Lyria. And the captain of boats. <laughs> you made it all the way to this item, too? Boy, you really do get around. You might just say I'm everywhere. Everywhere the cash flows. <laughs> Visit the Knickknack Shack for all your travel tasks. You must be the ones Ciero mentioned. Let me take a peek at your gear. We need to sharpen our weapons. <laughs> you can say that again. Now, back to goofing off. Selection. Ooh, that's so grown up. An elegant lady knows the importance of looking her best. I see. I still don't know anything about makeup. You're naturally pretty, but a dab here or there could bring out a whole new you. Really? I don't know if that's me at all. How about this? Next time we'll do our faces together. That is tutoring, of course. Aren't you curious how Lyria will look, Captain? Can't wait to see the new Lyria. Hush, I'll try not to disappoint anyone. 
Gee, what a selection. I don't know what most of this stuff is for. Is, that's for sure. Come here. Let you in on a tip I heard. Word is there's a village that runs a mining operation on a nearby island. It's got an altar dedicated to, get this, a primeval god. And when this god stirs up a wind, loads of ore gets exposed, ripe for the plucking. Then this town takes those mined ores to make the finest jewelry. We'd be rich if we got in on the action somehow. You're catching my drift? Anyway, I'm gonna stay put and sniff around for more info. I'll let you know what I hear. See you later, Captain. One more for the road. <laughs> hey, so Rackham headed straight for the docks, huh? He takes such good care of the Grand Cypher. But I guess after everything... Huh. Airship of that size is a first for me. But I reckon I can handle her. Uh, sorry for pushing you guys. <laughs> Shucks, it ain't nothing. I'll leave this spot empty. So go ahead and fly her in. Thanks a million. I'll get right on it. Rackham! Hi! Well, look who it is. I managed to find a place that can patch up the Grand Cypher. Just got done haggling with him. Um, I'm sorry the ship got hurt. That was my fault. Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? You had nothing to do with it. But I... Look, it was a random accident. No one could have known our dragon friend would go all crazy. It's not your fault, Lyria. Yep. No one's blaming you. Captain knows best. So quit feeling guilty about it, okay? <sighs> okay. Thanks for cheering me up. There's that smile. Besides, we're in a new Skydom. Let's see some more enthusiasm, huh? Anyway, I'd better go move the Grand Cypher before anything happens to her. Go have fun. I got the ship covered. <sighs> Breeze feels almost welcoming. Like an old friend. Get in some training. I once spent hours practicing my strikes. Oh, no wonder you're a master swordswoman. <laughs> Not yet, I'm afraid. Maybe I'm halfway there at best. You're no slouch either, buddy. But I wonder who's better, you or Catalina. I don't mean to brag, but. <laughs> It's hard to say at a glance, though it might be fun to cross swords sometime. You mean like a sparring match? I wouldn't know who to root for. Then why not both? Oh, you're right. There's no rule that says I can only pick one side. Uh, Captain, before we proceed any further, I have just one thing. Make sure to check our mastery points from time to time. Battles may begin to feel tense if we don't sharpen our skills. Can't wait 
to try this out. Ah, fresh insight. Yeah, that should work. Can't wait to try this out in the field. Hi. I'll practice day and night. I mustn't fall behind our captain after all. see my part of town? Actually, I wanted to ask you how I could help the crew. Is that so? Well, I'd say there's no need to stress out about it. But I want to be useful and do my share. Oh dear. <laughs> I think you might be overthinking this. Still, isn't there something I can do? Let's see. Guidebooks are pretty useful. Ever thought about writing one? Write my own guidebook? Just jot down the fun things you've seen and done. Whatever you want to share with us. Better than complaining all the time. That's like the opposite of being helpful. You're right. Okay, I'll write the best guidebook ever. I can't wait to read it. Such a refreshing breeze. If you're done looking around, we can start heading to the meetup spot a little early. Alright, so then. The meetup spot was somewhere around here, right? Are you done looking around? Yeah, I think I've seen everything. Same. Let's take a quick break while we wait for the others. Look, it's the Grand Cypher. Oh yeah! Rackham did say he'd bring her in for repairs. Can I tell you something? I heard what you did when I was falling off the ship. I felt so happy knowing you sprang to my rescue. We've been through a lot together. Visited new islands, met new people. It hasn't always been the safest trip. But you've always been there to protect me. I just wanted to say thank you. And since our lives are intertwined, let's make the most of our journey together. Yeah. <laughs> now my face feels a little hot. <laughs> That's so true. Hmm. Doesn't it smell nice? <laughs> sure does. <laughs> mm. 
Sorry. Kept y'all waiting. Cypher's officially in the shop. Nice work. Hey. Thanks, Rackham. So, we've got time to burn, it seems. Anyone uh, want Almost forgot this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys hear that? All right, I'm off. Pardon my rudeness. I uh, don't do well with lizards. Hey! I ain't no lizard! It, it can talk? I do beg your pardon. We didn't mean to startle you. And we certainly don't intend on starting any trouble. Actually, we're a crew of humble skyfarers. This is Vern. I assure you, he means no harm. If anything, he's quite the lovable dragon once you get to know him. Uh, you've got it all wrong, Catalina. I'm a cool dragon. Huh. Skyfarers, you say? Oh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is... <laughs> Roland, you've got to help us. A tornado suddenly hit our village out of nowhere. A tornado? Could something have angered Tempil's primal beast? Remain here in Folka. I'll handle the rest. My apologies. It seems I'm needed elsewhere, so I'm afraid this is farewell for now. Hey, wait! He sure ran off in a hurry. And I heard him say Primal Beast. We should follow him. suddenly lit up, you know? And the wind was like a whoosh! And that primeval god is not happy. Slow down, take a few deep breaths, and tell me exactly what happened. Okay, okay. I'm calm. An altar, fierce winds, and what they call a primeval god. Sound familiar? Yeah, it does. Smells fishy. It's got to be connected to Bahamut going ballistic on us. <sighs> that guy with glasses knows something we don't. Want to see if we can tag along? He could lead us to a clue. What do you think, Captain? Uh, sounds an awful lot like a primal beast to me. Yep. Which means there's only one way to handle this. Right then. I know what I have to do. Time to get moving. Um, excuse me. Ah, hello again. The situation is a bit out of hand, as you can see. If you need something from me, can it wait? I must leave town for a spell. Then I'll cut to the chase. Allow us to join you. Say that again? It seems you're in a predicament. Depending on the situation, we could be of help. I appreciate the offer, I really do, but... You mentioned a primal beast, right? If that's the problem, we want to lend a hand. We had our own snag as soon as we arrived in this skydom. Bet your round of drinks, whatever you're facing, has to do with us, too. Simply put, our goals are aligned. It takes two to tango, wouldn't you say? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Though, more hands would certainly be welcome. Very well. I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yay! 
Anything can happen out there. You should get organized before we head out. Couldn't resist my help? The ship will depart shortly. Is everyone ready? Wait, I got a tiny thing to take care of. Time is of the essence. Please make haste. So then?
for coin, I can help you find jobs from all over the Sky Dome. So, would you be interested in taking a quest or two? Or, uh, maybe more? <laughs> Again, we've got lunch special. Good food, good oh. prices. The ship will depart shortly. Is everyone ready? Yep, we're good to go. Good. All aboard the airship. There's no time to waste. So, I bet you're wondering who I am. Mm -hmm. I work for the Church of Folka, mostly as a vicar. Call me Roland. I'm Catalina, protector of this crew. Name's Rackham. Cheers. And I'm Eo. Eugen here. Rosetta. You can call me Ver. I'm Lyria. Nice to meet you. And finally, this is our captain. Wow, I can't imagine captaining a crew at your age. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly a slouch myself. You see, I'm kind of a Mr. Fix-It, handling all the odd jobs after church. From furniture repair to marriage counseling, I can mend it all. Results guaranteed. When Roland's on the case, nothing is impossible! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Too dramatic, huh? Psst, this guy's a few apples short of a bushel. Psst. He'll hear you, dummy! Glad you're with us! High five, fix it, dude! Uh, dude? <laughs> Once again, my name is Roland. Yep! Heard you the first time. Cheers, fix it, dude. But it's rolling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some time before we reach Tempeel, so would you mind checking on the others? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> 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 
She's not the most luxurious ship, but I assure you she's skyworthy. They form the archipelago, and one of them is home to Folka. So this other island we're flying to, will we be arriving soon? Yes, we'll be there shortly. I just hope the islanders are evacuating as we speak. You said we're going to Tempeo, right? What kind of place is it? It's a bustling mining village. All the rare metals they dig up put them on the map. What? Does anyone else see that? I mean, the wind around the island. You can actually see it. Huh, yeah. Why is it all weird? <laughs> the gales are reaching us from this distance? I suppose that confirms my suspicions. Should be more people here. Ah. Roland, we should talk. I see. The abnormal winds agitated the goblins, who in turn attacked the islanders. We managed to escape, but the others. I pray the worst hasn't befallen them. Try not to worry too much. Just leave everything to Mr. Fixit. Thank you. I'll go spread the word. That being said, I can't just leave these people here unprotected. What should I do? He needs our aid, Captain. Did somebody call for goblin exterminators? We'll handle the goblins. Are you sure? That'd certainly take a load off my shoulders. Talk about having the right crew for the job. Thanks a lot. I'll come find you after I get all these people aboard the airship. If you happen to see any more islanders out there, could you give them assistance? Yep, you got it. Oh, I almost forgot to give you this. If anything happens, we can communicate with each other using this device. We can talk on this thing? Looks like a flower glued to a box. It's a type of transceiver. It'll allow us to talk over long distances. Aren't transceivers expensive? Are you sure you want to give us one? Yep, don't worry. I didn't pay for it. Since I put it together myself. Ah, check this out. It even has a nifty light attachment. Why don't you turn it on, Fern, when you want to grab everyone's attention? Might come in handy. Nice. You got skills, fix it, dude. <sighs> it's rolling. Huh. Who'd have thunk you could make sweet gizmos like this? Thank you. We'll definitely make good use of it. Follow that road, and it'll take you to Tempeel. Please help anyone you see. I'm counting on you. Move it, people! Devil time! Uh -huh. What? Just a moment. This here is hallowed ground. A special aura keeps the monsters at bay. 
If you need to rest, find this crystal. You can even stock up on supplies and fix up your weapons. We're counting on you. Hostages, but it won't stay that way for long. Please do everything you can to free them. Glad everyone's safe and sound. What would we have done without your crew? Skyfarers or something else. Thank you so much, everyone. But more settlements could be under attack. Better keep going. We gotta check on those people. Are the erratic winds causing the goblins to act violently? That's a big problem, it's true. Goblins don't usually go berserk like average monsters. The 
Island reminds you of Port Breeze, that's when we met Rackham. Oh, yeah. That's when he convinced us to be an official crew. I bet he was dying to join you guys. Where else would you find cooler crewmates? How would you know? You joined us in me. to get our feet wet. Mind where you step, everyone. I'm moving as fast as I can. Keep those goblins occupied. We will, Roland. We just focus on flying. Yes, but never mind. You're right. I'll put my trust in you, Skyfair. Oh, great. They know how to shoot bones. They'll need time to reload. That's when we charge. Oh, yeah. We've made a decent stent in their numbers. Keep at it. We've cleared the area. It should be safe to free the captives. Thank you. Everyone's okay. Quickly, get on board. Don't worry, you're in good hands now. Oh, thanks. I was so scared. You did a great job holding out. <laughs> what a show! I'm so pumped up right now. Uh, maybe I healed him a little too much. You did it! You saved everyone! Thank you. Oh no! The windmills have come under attack! But next destination is the windmill!
Something tells me these aren't normal goblins. Maybe that's how they are in Zega. Or it's the wind's fault. Either way, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> Could use this. Look at all those shiny rocks. Make sure you nab them all. ruin the beautiful countryside. It's a crying shame. Yep. So let's do what we can to get things back to normal. Cut them down. Okay, we'll call great. Looks like some of them can use magic too. Don't get sloppy now. Now, hurry to the ship. 
Thank goodness. Don't give up, okay? I'm... alive? You're going to be fine. Can you walk, miss? Thank you, thank you, thank you! Those poor folk are safe thanks to you. Great job, everyone. <laughs> All the day's work. Now, we should return to our search. Huh? Heavens help us. There are others who haven't made it out yet. Oh no! This is awful! You have to rescue them! I'll lead the way! God! Full speed ahead, everybody! I pray we're not too late. We made it, Roland! About to start fumigating the place. Oh, oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, 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 buddy? Seriously? I'm at least five years older than you. You don't want to believe how oh, old I am. Would you make me how old? <laughs> My lips are sealed. Keep cover fire. We're almost there. Push through. That was going to be rough. Here goes nothing! Let's see! Tempest Blade! Ha! Catalina! I'll protect you! Blades of Frost! Brothers or something? <laughs> they should have said more than a trio. You have my place. Get a load of it. Very cool. Go on. Say more. <laughs> Leave it to me. Stable offense with room for improvement. Yes. plus. <laughs> Miss me. There's nothing to fear. We'll never back down. Just who are you guys? We're traveling Skyfarers, and we're here to rescue you. Chin up, everyone. Everything's going to be all right. Wait, was that Roland? Guess we really are saved. Let's quickly get you aboard Roland's ship. No, wait! Listen to me! We fled from the Goblin Fortress that lies deep in the nearby ruins. But our friends are still in there, and they can't make it out on their own. What's the call? Let's get 
those people out of there. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Come in, fix it, dude. Roll in here. What can roll in do for you? We're gonna break some people out of some goblin fortress. So take care of things here. Got it. I know this isn't what you signed up for, but just be careful in there. Will do! Who's ready to do this? Y'all think this is the goblin fort we're looking for? Gives me the willies. Be on guard. Oh! We meet again! Can I offer you a nice knick-knack in these trying times? I'll top off your potion supply. Ooh. You better nab those limited items before they fly off the shelf. That sounded like a kid. Hurry. Maybe we could use this. Is this like a coliseum? This place is crawling with goblins. But it doesn't seem like they want to scuff. No, run! Get out while you still can! That doesn't sound good. with that shield. That gobber charges like a wild boar. But I reckon we can outmaneuver it. This is rolling. What's your static? Roger that. I'm on my way. Hold it up until I arrive. Ashes to ashes. And dust to dust. I know. Captain, yep, here goes. Captain, uh, Blade! Get I'll protect you. Blade the Frost! Bring it! Good hustle, people. Well, the Do it again. I love when a plan comes together. Oh, yeah! We got to keep it up! Keep it up! Take it, lad! Yes!
it now. That was nothing. Throughout the battle? Yes, I'm sure of it. It has to be Tempiel's primal beast. Bingo. Guess this is where the real battle starts. Hello? Is everyone all right? What happened to the hostages in the fortress? Everyone's fine. They just need to rest. Oh, what 
a relief. I can't thank you all enough. So, what do you guys say to meeting the blowhard stirring up this storm? Wait, what are you talking about, Rackham? Told you before we left Folka, remember? The problem with the Primal is our problem, too. I don't know about this. Maybe it's best to leave well enough alone. But if we don't calm down the Primal Beast... ...the situation on the island is only going to get worse. I hear what you're saying, but... Think of the Islander's safety. Captain's right. These winds spelled trouble for the entire archipelago. You ought to fly the Islanders back to Folka before it gets out of hand. Okay, fair point. I'll trust your judgment and get these poor souls to safety. But if it gets risky, there's no shame in retreat. I still owe you a reward. You don't have to tell us twice. Thanks for the concern. Sit tight. The least I can do is drop you off a little closer. <laughs> Reminds you of our showdown with Tiamat, doesn't it? I was wondering why this felt so familiar. Good luck, and stay safe! Boating, isn't it? Let's hurry. Whoa! This place gets way bigger on the inside. Oh. Look, everyone! Some sort of altar? <laughs> That's a primal beast! Whoa! Well, on move. That could be us. 
learning new stuff. Oh, nifty. Excellent. Ah, fresh insight. Should work. Oh, 
that's how it's done. Try this out. Do the trick. Are you hurt? No, I think. Ha! Altars above us, huh? Hope we've all got our hiking boots on. Aha! What you hiding? Welcome to the Skyder. Can we have one normal day? I mean, we are Kinda comes with the territory, don't it? Sure. I don't know how many more death-defying escapades my heart can take. <laughs> Tempiel must have been mining here. I imagine so. Thanks to the Primal, it looks like they've got no shortage of resources. Primals are amazing! Let's see. <laughs> Rampage. It's suffering a big deal. Oh, it's, it's too dangerous. 
gets to see the good stuff, you know. <laughs> Primals before. We'll just have to do it again. Right. We'll chip away at its defenses until Lyria is able to absorb its power. We'll just have to hold them up until Lyria's up and sends them to the top. Be on your toes. Nice, Leary. 
Arya. Glad he's fighting on our side this time. Focus. Your open power is starting to sweat. Hold up. Did the demon pony just transform? It is a primal beast, after all. Are you expecting something different? You can tell primal beasts were weapons created by Astros. Their powers are capable of untold destruction. But after the war, they abandoned their fear in the sky. Some took to the land. Some were deified. Still others found a home alongside sky dwellers and helped advance great civilization. I fear I can. Primal and vitality. With How callous it is to twist this creative soul into an instrument of destruction. Payback's on its way. Darn right. Don't get sloppy. But this thing needs business. I promise to save you. Magic reserves are crazy. It keeps flinging attack after attack at us. Something about Puritan's power is unnatural. Huh? What do you mean? I'm not sure, but something isn't right.
okay. Be at peace now. Thank you. And that's a wrap, folks! Booyah! Let's get off this rock and give Fix-It Dude the good news! Hold it. You guys see that ship? Ruby red for the hull? Sticks out like a sore thumb, don't it? But it doesn't. It's not Lyria's doing. Hey. Lyria! What's wrong? It wasn't me. I didn't... I couldn't stop it. <laughs> No friends of ours, I'd wager. Hmm. Now, they look like a fun bunch to tangle with. Do not deviate from the mission. We are simply here for a meet and greet. And you are? We've been waiting for you, Shaman of Salvation. Now, would you be so kind as to join us? <laughs> If you value your life, you'll leave us alone! Oh, fancy a challenge, huh? Fine, have it your way. I'll end this in 90 seconds. Some weird vibes here. Get behind my shield. It's over. I expected more bite. What he can do. Is that all? Yeah. I'll finish this. Mm. I'll, 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 I'll crush you. I'll burn you up. I'll crush you. I'll burn you up. 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 I'll Great times up.
So we finally meet. <gasps> oh, Shaman of Salvation. Long have we waited for this day. What? Shaman? Me? How uncanny. So much in common with the blue butterfly and Seed Hollow's energy. Oh, my apologies. You must be bewildered by this disrespectful treatment. I... Who the heck are you? And what do you want from us? Oh. How rude of me. You may call me Lilith. They, the Pilgrims of Avia. I, their shepherd. And I will not rest. Not until we open the path to Utopia. Esther Lucia. Utopia? Wait, you just said Esther Lucia, but that's the same place we're headed. Ah, truly? Our goals eclipse one another. Then I needn't prattle on. This meeting has proven quite serendipitous. I promise to take care of everything. Now, dear Sean, prepare yourself for glory, for a grand pilgrimage awaits us. We shall pave a new path to Estelucia. I don't think so! You don't get to make the rules on my watch! You fuckface! If... Let us return. You are unworthy.
Gates. Better to let everyone know you're up. Cat's been beside herself. <sighs> we can't afford to stop. We have to save Lyria. Whoa, try to cool down there, Cat. But I promised her. I promised her I would show her the outside world, no matter the danger. What if I can't protect her? What if I can't get her back? I refuse to break my vow. We know how you feel, but we can't jump the gun here, not without knowing more. Yeah, that guy was tough. We need a plan. Otherwise, he'll just mop the floor with us again. <gasps> Captain! Glad you're back on your feet. You scared the hell out of us. I'm sorry, Captain. I wasn't strong enough to protect Lyria. Good news, folks! I got a lead on those ruffians who ambushed you! Really? Where did they take her? Tell me right now or else. Jeepers! Calm down, Catalina. Is that any way to say thanks for the help? Uh, of course. Sorry. It's quite all right. I know exactly how you feel, Catalina. With all you did for us, it's only fair that I do my part to help you. Besides, looking into the Church of Avia was fairly simple. A church? They did call themselves pilgrims. Oh! How are you feeling, Captain? Never mind me. Where'd Avia go? Yes, well, uh, about that. It seems like they're taking Lyria to Latanya Island. Where's that? Fret not. I'll show you the way myself. Whoa, slow down, champ. First of all, we're Skyfarers. We can't be babysitting. See, we've severely underestimated you, Roland. <laughs> Look, the Church of Avia grows bolder by the day. They used force in Tempil and abducted Lyria, an innocent traveler. I cannot sit idly by and allow such deeds to go unpunished. I'm quite capable of handling myself in a fight, and will do my best to aid you. If I may? Every Skydom's got a bad bunch. If you're offering to help us with them, I won't say no. Hmm. Now, uh, about your ship. You know, the really big blue one? The Grand Cipher. Yes, that's it. The repairs on the Grand Cipher will soon be completed. I did a little work on it myself, and just wait until you see what I... installed. You what? No! Oh, silly me! I must have been rambling about something else. Moving right along. I took the liberty of procuring a new weapon and some armor for you, Captain. Your current gear has certainly seen better days, after all. Sweet! That's real nice of ya! I hate to imagine Folka's fate if your crew hadn't shown up when it did. These small tokens of appreciation are hardly enough to convey our gratitude. <laughs> well, thanks all the same, Fix-It Dude. It's Roland. We're grateful for all you've done, Roland. Let's get a move on. Sure. Let me pack my things and I'll meet you by the dock. See you soon. Lilith. In 
Enough is enough. Catalina, Lyria's kidnapping has hit her extra hard. <sighs> we'll save her, no matter what. Of course. I don't care how strong they are. I'm not... We're not giving up. Look. Lyria's grown so much since she met you. Almost every night, she would come and tell me about her day, and all the new things she experienced with you and the crew. And each time, I was more and more glad we all found ourselves on this journey together. I won't let it end here. I promised Lyria that we'd see the world. That we'd see the end of the skies. So I swear, we'll get her back. Together, as a crew. Lyria. I hope Eugen's not beating himself up too much. Hey, Captain. Can you ever forgive me? For what? Sorry, but I gotta apologize. See, I had a bad feeling the second I saw that red ship. When you've been through as much as I have, you develop a sixth sense for danger. But I still ignored the warning bells. Damn it all. So much for calling myself a guardian can't protect a damn thing. Well, I ain't giving up on Lyria. I'm bringing her home, and nothing's gonna stop me. No, oh, they'll pay. I'll show them what an old vet can do. Excuse me. It's easier than eating apples. Skyfarers, huh? What should I strengthen? I'll unlock its hidden potential. A complete success. Let's kick it up a notch. 
I'll handle it. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Success. Sigil enhancement? Got it. Come back sometime. Despite it all, Eo seems determined. Hey, Captain. Say, you remember the promise I made with Lyria? We were gonna ask Rosetta to teach us how to put on makeup. I wonder if Lyria's crying right now. It must be scary being alone. I can't stand it! We have to save her! Lyria... Pardon me. I heard what happened with Lyria. I'm not much used in a fight myself, but maybe I can help in my own small way. Please, take this. looks ready to take off the second we say go. You don't think they're gonna do anything to her, do you, Captain? <sighs> Hope not. Uh, I don't think they want to actually hurt her. Not from what I saw. Good thing we know where that red ship is going. Grand Cypher will hunt it down in no time. But once we catch them, those punks are gonna pay for what they did. They can run, but they can't fly from the Grand Cipher. Not while I'm Helmsman. Rosetta's lost in thought. I wonder what she's thinking. Tell me, Captain, how are you feeling today? Pretty good, actually. Ah, I see. I like that confidence. Thankfully, it looks like you've healed up just fine. But we can't wait around any longer. Our princess awaits her rescue. It's going to work out. We promised to meet up with Fix-It Dude. Let's head for the dock. Our adventure began with a strange light falling over my home island of Zinkenstill. I chased it to the impact site, 
where I found a blue-haired girl named Lyria and a knight, Catalina. The girl was shaken, and pretty soon, I learned the reason why. She was on the run from Earth Day Empire soldiers. I knew an unfair fight when I saw one, so I stepped up to protect Lyria from those overbearing jerks. Catalina and I fended them off well enough, but when their backs were in the corner, they released a fire-breathing Hydra. It charged me, sending me flying into the tree line. Moments away from death, all I could think about was Dad. He'd been the one who trained me, and he'd done a great job, but... Well, who expects their daughter to get attacked by a five-headed horror? <sighs> he was going to be devastated. So, it's all over. Just as I began to sink into darkness, a gentle light enveloped my body. Lyria, wreathed by a mystical halo, was floating above me with her hand outstretched. She explained that she was going to merge our life forces. Fortunately, it worked. From that moment forward, Lyria and I would be inextricably linked. Looking into her blue eyes, I knew I had nothing to fear. Not even death itself. Two people, one life. A greater whole. Lyria had taken a huge risk to save me. Now, if one of us got hit with a fatal blow, it was curtains for both. And that thought awakened in me a desperate hunger for survival. For life. The next moment, Lyria and I felt this reverberation of power. The torrent of emotion rushing from me had awakened something. Darkness and flames swirled around us, coalescing into a massive dragon, Bahamut. With him on our side, we made short work of the Imperial Hydra. Now that their trump card had been blasted into oblivion, the Imperial Army had no choice but to run. Sometimes I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't chased that light. No Lyria, no lifelink, no adventure. Yeesh, I probably wouldn't even have set foot off of Zinkin still. <laughs> Fate's a funny thing, isn't it? Since meeting Lyria, we've seen our fair share of joy and happiness, and pain and suffering. But the Grand Cypher crew doesn't buckle under pressure. We'll take on anything the journey throws at us. No regrets. Are you all ready for takeoff? I can leave at a moment's notice. Prepped and ready. Excellent. Then let's cast off. What you see? It's the latest in ether cannon technology. You did this? That thing looks like a recipe for disaster. You bet it is. See, a merchant I know has been asking me to test it out. This flagship model employs ethereal mechanics to increase range, accuracy, velocity. took Roland for a weapons maniac. By the way, Captain, how is the lifelink between you and Lyria holding up? Hmm. It seems okay. Yeah, I think so too. So basically, 
And since they share the same life force, a healthy captain means a healthy Lyria. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Considering they called her a shaman, I doubt they're out to harm her. You're yanking my chain. That's incredible. See? I had the exact same reaction. Gosh, you guys are such dorks. I take back what I said. These ether cannons are pure magic. <laughs> it seems Roland has quite the silver tongue. Next stop, Lotania Island. Our target is Avia's flagship, the Ameritat. Let's go rescue Lyria. Hey, fix it, dude. Who died and made you captain? That's Roland to you. <laughs> <laughs> On our side. The Grand Cypher should get us there in no time. The Church of Avia, claiming Lyria was some kind of shaman of salvation, had ripped her away from us. We had no idea what they were after, much less what they had in store for Zega Grande. The most we could speculate? There had to be a connection between Avia's appearance and the incidents with Bahamut and Furikin. At the very least, Roland had an idea of where they were taking Lyria. Latanya Island. on him. Good luck trying to outrun the Grand Cypher. Anything for salvation. What the heck? You think they know it's rude to board without a unifier? You like that? Out of our way! Reinforcements to the right! Man, so relentless. Hold them off! They're tough! Troops! Former! Church have this much firepower. This is bad. They're shooting at us. Oh boy, at this rate, we'll have to the pieces. The ether cannons are our only hope. Use them to return fire. Whoa, go back up. Oh, yeah, they felt that one. Cannon overheated. You can fire again after it cools down a bit. Here, Roland! Too late! They're already here! 
better. I don't understand. Why is this church acting so aggressively? The ether cannon's out of commission. You'll have to fight in close quarters. Ready, buddy? Let's get wild in here. Taking pot shots at the Grand Cipher for you. Now the port guns are down. You can finish it off. Can you disable their ship? Like knock out the power? Then uh, we'll have to sabotage its power regulator. Cypher in half if you don't do something, and we'll have to destroy them. Come on, everyone. Step back from the grapnels. They actually destroyed one. We've lost the tactical anchor. Requesting backup from ship three. I knew you could do it. Destroy the other, and we're free. Trigger finger, is it? Dragon Lane! Damn, they're tough! Operation 
failed. I repeat, operation has failed. Fantastic work, everyone. That was exceptional. How's the ship? Did she still fly? Sure can. <sighs> I wish I had a ship as amazing as yours. Now, to put her to the test. some visibility in there. Stay on your toes. <laughs> Man, I hate being popular. Don't tell me. We flew right into an ambush. I've had enough. Hey, Eugen, cannons up yet? I think we're good. Let's say hi with a bang. Show them we mean business with some cannon. We've come way too far to get shot down now. Blast them! Huh? <laughs> without using cannons before, we'll just have to do it again. This one won't be as easy, but it sure beats getting pumped full of holes. It is what it is. Roland, bring us in. Got you back. All hands, brace for impact. Us. We must destroy the power regulator. going to drag us down with it if we can't pull away somehow. Any good ideas? Destroying the engine seems effective enough. Actually, that might be our only option. Can you handle it? It's as good as done. Besides, I don't feel like crashing today. Ladies, look! 
some frightening firepower. I'm glad you're on my team. What can we say? Those bozos weren't even a challenge. All right, now to catch that ship. It's showtime, folks. Silver Wolf Corps, and strongest in the land! You bastard! Watch where you stick that thing! Who cares about a dumb pile of wood? You see, all that matters. <laughs> is the last man standing! <laughs> At least give me a challenge! Oh, you dumb blockhead! We were so close <laughs> till you showed up! <laughs> Impressive! No one's ever made such short work of my unit before! I want answers, and you're going to give them to me! Why did you kidnap Furia? Why, you ask? Because I live to test my might against the strong! <laughs> this is going to be fun! That's a dumb excuse. I can't stand guys like him. Let's just knock him. He's not on your spot. Come on, woman. It's not over yet. Trigger finger, is it? Now I'm not cut them down. Those attacks are hard to avoid. Might be better to buckle down and guard. I hear ya. Yeah. 
that you've had quite enough entertainment. Huh? Another one? <sighs> I haven't had a worthy fight in ages. I won't retreat. Really, you speak like a beast with more impulse than sense. If you're lying on the ground bereft of life, how will you explain yourself to Our Lady? <clears throat> Point taken. I could use a nice nap. But as for you, the next time we meet face to face, only one of us will walk away. It'll be glorious! Dark! She has quite the talent. Yet another foe to keep in mind. Roland, what of the red ship? Don't you worry. I've got eyes on it. They're flying towards Mount Nagelith and- Whoa! Ah! Old girl's taking too much damage. Hope she don't fall. Damn it! Just gave her a tune-up, too. Don't let us down, Grand Cypher. Wait, 
feels way lighter now. Behold, new power! A new technique! A little something for my arsenal! Coming back to me. Storm. Whatever. It's not gonna stop us from finding Lyria. We chase after the red ship, straining to see through the flurries of snow. Latanya Island, home to frosty mountains, treacherous ravines, and desolate tundra. Out here, it's just white, white, and more white. The ship shivers in the blasts of icy wind. This place has got just one message for us. Keep out.
out of nowhere? This ship ain't gonna survive this storm. I'm gonna hug those cliffs. Ride's gonna get a little bumpy. Something. Roland, a word, please. I saw a light in the distance before the storm hit. It was like the one in Tempeel. If that light is what I think it is... You guessed right. It's where we'll find the island's altar. And Avia. So they aim to drive another primal beast to insanity? Be that as it may, Lyria is waiting for us. Now is not the time to speculate. Look, I know we gotta go, but the ship's hurting. We won't get far without repairs. And with a blizzard like this, all we can do is wait till it dies down. We can't wait any longer. Hmm. There may be hope yet with a crew of your talents. Do you have a plan, Roland? There's an old monastery nearby. I plan to meet a friend by the Sanctum. With her leading the way, you'll arrive at the altar come rain, sleet, or snow. Then she's our only chance! Come on! The trails are infested with monsters. But, after seeing your handiwork, I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Thing is, I can't leave the Grand Cipher unguarded. Then permit me to repair her in your stead. She'll be ready to fly in no time. Look, it's not that I don't trust you. Don't judge a book by its cover. I'm Mr. Fix-It, remember? Repairs are my specialty. But he might be our only chance. Look, I get it. Old gal's just been through a lot, and it's hard for me to let go. You're such a crybaby, Rackham. You still can't leave the Grand Cipher's nest. Oh, give me a break. Seriously, it ain't like that. Roland, can I trust you with the Grand Cipher? <laughs> On my honor, I'll do everything in my power to patch her up. Okay, gang. Let's get going before we turn into popsicles. Lyria needs us! The monastery should be this way. It's a little chilly, but we'll pull through. Get a load of this one. Ah! Bring it! There's ice blocking this way, too. Coming down! Watch out! Miss me! That was too close to comfort. I think I see lights! I wager that's where you need to go. Yeah, skeletons! Frozen skeletons! Dolly's pack of snow skulls I've ever seen! Don't let them surround us! Think before smashing those ice pillars! All that weight could crush you! Blizzard. Can't even trust this person. We have little choice. 
Day, travelers, although I bear no grudge against any of you, it would certainly behoove you to abandon your quest. I do beg your pardon. Milady, you were strictly ordered not to kill them. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Galanza and survived. This will merely slow them down a bit. But do keep a close eye on them. Ma'am. Now then, the Mountain considers your party to be uninvited guests. One wonders if Mother Nature will forgive this intrusion. I'm headed up to here with gravity. Hmm? Stop. Nobody move. Jokesters intercepted us. Now we're at the bottom of some valley, fighting for our lives. It's not working. My guess is signal doesn't stretch all the way down. We're on our own for this one. Walk her up. It's charging at us. Got him right where you want it. You soar high, Captain. There's more where that came from. Trigger finger attention! Oh, it's oh, they're mad now. Right. Look out for any large attacks. Feel the fuck! It's saving this one. It's creating a big ice bomb! Here comes the big one! <laughs> Not quite. 
We couldn't see eye to eye. Oh well. R.I.P., buddy. Ugh, that's it. No more puns this entire trip. I've been thinking. What does the Church of Avia want with Iria anyway? Their leader, Lilith, said her goal was to reach Escalusia. She must have caught on to Iria's unique, valuable abilities. Whatever the reason, those tyrants abducted her. I won't let them off light. Oh, great. Even more light. Keep your eyes open. Monsters to be hiding beneath the snow. Victory right ahead! Little present for you! Do you see that? Well, let's check it out. This way should take us to the surface! Let us press on. You've got no kids. Get up. Sorry, yes, not sorry. You my place. Keep it moving, people. Looks like no one's home. Whoa! Did they need a door this big? Wait. What's that sound? Did they follow us here? With the blizzard picking up outside, we have no choice but to fight them all. All support! Oh, oh, oh. 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 
Skyfarers. I am Historia, overseer of Malo's monastery. Thank you for your assistance. You must be Roland's acquaintance. Indeed, I am. Did anyone from the Church of Avia come this way? Maybe a flashy red ship? Yes, and they've already disturbed the altar ahead. The primeval god it honors is most displeased. Then there really is a primal beast here as well. The god's anger manifests as a blistering white storm. I seek to quell its rage. Well, we're after those jerks that caused it. Maybe we could go together. The road forward is a sacred one, sealed to all but me. However, it is no place for outsiders. Leary is our friend! She means a lot to us! Please, let us come with you! Hmm... away with or without you you exhibit great courage despite your youth Roland was right to trust you yes that fire in your eyes speaks of great tenacity an unquenchable resolve very well do as you like. Yes! Uh, thank you. But be warned. Sacred grounds are not immune to the taint of malice. Do keep up. We won't hold you back. Lead the way. Oh, primeval god of Belfrost Dominion, bestow thy grace and guide us past the door of seclusion. I'm no stranger to ice-based spells, but this is something else entirely.
It is done. Come. Is the Kadam Sanctum, wherein a primeval god resides. Took us forever and a half, but we made it! <sighs> Another door blocks our path. Allow me. O oh, primeval god of Belfrost's dominion, bestow thy grace and guide us past the door of seclusion. On the welcome squad. I know how they're kicking when it's sub zero. If my incantation is interrupted, the sigils will cease forming. It demands my fullest attention. Can you keep the rabble occupied? Understood. We'll protect you while you work your magic. Take that! Yeah. Destroy a regular monster magnet, ain't she? Perhaps they find her intense magical capacity. Oh. All the more reason to stay focused. Come what may, we stand guard! Yeah! Oh, you're in for it! I'm pulling for you! to survive this plunge? Apologies for my earlier incivility. Your skill is unquestionable. <laughs> Wait till you see me get serious. I expect to be impressed. The drive to save a loved one never ceases to amaze me. Hmm? <laughs> Tis nothing. Maybe we could use this. The 
the blizzard stopped. An ill omen. We must hurry. That's one sturdy looking door. But no match for me. Oh, primeval god of Belfrost's dominion, bestow thy grace and guide us past the door of seclusion. Hey! Tini here and looking for action! Keep your eyes on that one. It's deadlier than the rest. Protect Historia! You defend me? Do it again! 
again. Good hustle, people. Our long-range schools are attacking our guns. Oh, get them! Hot enough for you? Say hello! Oops! We piss him off? Be careful! You don't hold me back! Could you defend me? It would be a shame to stop now. <sighs> At long last. I know you'll get the job done. Take care it of yourself, It is far okay? too quiet for my liking. The altar lies ahead. <laughs> Reveal the attack! Huh? Is it that Lyria? Another foe. Hysteria! You knave! What did you do to Lyria? Answer! <laughs> I wouldn't interfere if I were you. Protect us. Lyria is us. This ain't what it is. Why did you kidnap Lyria? Oh, now he's got nothing to say. I don't like it, but we have ways of making him talk. You will pay dearly! Is that it? It's over! I'll finish this! Ah, got a for Does this guy eat steel for breakfast? He's strong as hell! First Galanza, now this dude. 
Where does Avia find these monsters? His name is Id, one of Avia's top three. Said to be the Skydom's strongest. No wonder he's so tough. But why would a man of his ferocity obey the church? He may be Lilith's son. Details are statement, but it would explain much. Big cheese is little cheese, huh? Support mom and all, but think to yourself, man. Miriam isn't acting like himself either. We must get to her. That's too good. Can't get a clean hit on him. Time's up. Do it, Miria. Yes. Sprint forth. Wolf of Icy Mist. Mana Garmer. Remain unquelled. The sun will never kiss these skies again. All oh, my magic shall be with you. Thanks, Historia. We can take it from here. We didn't come this far to lose Lily now. We just suffer. Dipping around like light. Can't get crosshairs on it. Follow its movement. That horn will skewer you like a pig on a spit. <laughs> You weren't half bad yourself. The temperature drops. Careful when you approach. Where'd it go? It's moving too fast for the eye to follow. Stay calm. Learn its pattern of attack. Watch out, Kenneth! Sorry to burn you. I found her. Simple. Oh, that's good.
Attack. The final ace up its gauntlet. Step lively, guys. Don't give Flurry Paws an easy target. Are you injured? Let's go! 
Keep fighting! You are not clear of danger! Well I'll have to get you healed quick! I'm coming! Save you again. I'm used to your games now. Oh, primeval god, I beg your forgiveness. <laughs> Last hurdle before the finish line, huh? I'm down to race. <laughs> Soon it will be over. Is anyone there? It's only temporary, but I fixed up the ship to get her flying again. Oh, goody. You don't sound very happy. Did something happen? Lyria, she... Uh, hang in there. I'll come grab you guys ASAP. <sighs> Captain... That's a bitter pill to swallow. It was a pitiful outcome, despite my presence. No, even I assumed they wouldn't control primal... I mean, the primeval gods. And there's the matter of Lyria's odd behavior. Her eyes were empty, as if her soul were caged. What's more, the blue choker she wore did not sit right with me. A blue choker? Like a collar around her neck? Could it be... Could it be what, Roland? Is it a clue? Uh, possibly. Just a story I heard a while back. If, uh, rumors are to be believed, the Church of Avia has been toying with a forbidden implement. Uh, what now? The Mind Sealer. A tool that binds one's will, leaving them open to manipulation. Given its inhumane nature, the use of such an artifact was supposedly banned. Ugh, if those buttheads are using something like that, then they're worse than trash! Hmm. Couldn't we just smash the cursed thing to pieces? I don't advise using force to break it. That would put Lyria's life in danger. Eh, I figured it wouldn't be that easy. What about nullifying its influence? I have a connection in Seed Hollow who knows his curios. I bet he could tell us more. You intend to ask the family Zothba? Informants don't cooperate without a price. Hey, deep down he's got a heart of gold. It'll work out. Wishful thinking. Thanks again, Roland. We'd be up the creek without you. Always glad to help. Remember, when Mr. Fixit's on the case, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Got that right. Fixing our airship while it's stuck on a freezing mountain? Wow. Alas, I merely applied bandages. 
What she really needs is servicing in Seed Hollow. And on that note, I say we take to the skies. I'll show you the way. Ready for action! Yeah! I can make use of this. Seems useful. Let's try her out. Learn me something. I'm as worried about Lyria as anyone, but this ship needs a serious tune-up. We finally caught up to Lyria, but her eyes had lost their spark. When I called her name, she didn't respond. She didn't hear me. The Lyria we know and love? It's like she wasn't in there anymore. What is Avia plotting? With so many mysteries left unsolved, I get the feeling this is just the beginning. But for now, we need to dig up info on this mind sealer thing. We flew through the night without ever stopping. I can see our next island, hugged by dawn's warming light. Call that amber glow false hope? But I'll take it.
There's stuff everywhere. Let your shoes shine. Welcome. This is Sega Grande Skydom's largest city, Seed Hollow. Good news is the Grand Cipher's gonna be okay. She's in good hands. Luckily, the ship escaped severe damage. Should be a quick fix. Sorry to keep piling stuff on you. Appreciate it, buddy. So about this family Zoppa or whatever, you know where to find them? I sure do. Their boss supposedly operates in this district. Information brokers don't exactly advertise to the public. He runs a bar as a front. Sounds like you've got his stuff together. I guess you'll find out for yourself when you meet him. Follow me. Let's start by heading to the main square. The bar should be in a back alley somewhere. Huh. Guess that's one way to design a ship. Always cool to see how other places build their rides. Wait till you visit the... ...the other districts. I'd love to give a grand tour, but... No biggie. Besides, sightseeing will be a lot more fun when Fleury is back with us. Very true. I'd better start brushing up on my tour guide Maybe skills. Maybe we could use this. Of course, Seed Hollow wouldn't be complete without a blacksmith and alliance rep. If you need to use their services, now's the time. You've got all kinds of flowers. I'm all ears. You can expect only the best. The city smells so good. I guess that's where the seed in Seed Hollow comes from. Can't find what you want now. Here's an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> we have a wide selection of sigils.
What do you say? Will you accept it? We're counting on you. the last of them, which means quest Let's complete. See. Not bad. What you heard? Great. To the end of the skies. To Estalusia.
good day. How many times do I gotta say it? Getting parts to fix the Nautilus out here in the boonies is next to impossible. I've never been good with women. My words never come out quite the way I mean for them to. I thought maybe Miss Mechanic would be on board, but... Ah, I probably shouldn't be doing this behind Kent's back anyway. I'm telling you, I've tried everything. Sure, I'd love to see her fly again, but it's time to... Get real. Right? Hey, come on. I was against the rules. How was I supposed to keep a stern attitude against that blubbering mess? When I finally got a word in edgewise, I let her know I already had the parts she needed. Picked them up here and there, across Fanta Grande and Nala Grande. Here, this what you need? I'll cut you a deal. Wait, how? Where in the skies did you find these? Caught up in her excitement, she leapt at me. Whoa, not so close, Missy. Of course, she paid me no regard. It was the parts she had her eyes on. Some modifications here and there, I could... Yeah. I can't believe it! The dream is alive! Yep, the dream was alive. She didn't have to say it. The look on her face was enough. All that hubbub from earlier was nowhere to be found. After forking over the payment, she happily took the spare parts off my hands. She also made sure to plant a big, fat kiss on my cheek before scurrying off. Sheesh, at least warn a guy beforehand, right? Women, I swear. In any case, the winds were starting to blow back in their favor. Focus 
on the path ahead. And I think that's everything. You were awesome out there. That worked out. Just like always. Expect only the best. Which weapon shall I strengthen? Always strive to be stronger. Let me show you what my master has taught me. Leave it to me. Great success. Leave it to me. I went well. Leave it to me. It's a great success. For coming. This is 
Into the fray! What? What's this? Good shot, Eo! Don't get the cotton! No! Not quite! Keep your cool, everyone! Thank you! Thank you! Sometime after our mission in Tempil, we bumped into the old merchant in Folka. Well, look who the cat dragged in. Thanks for handling things in Tempil. You all deserve the best. Tempil had been roughed up by Furikin's rampage, and all of the locals were busy repairing the damage. The work we did that day had been crucial to those recovery efforts. Out of curiosity, my young lizard friend, were you much help to your crew? He said the L word. I turned to Vern, ready for his usual furious tagline. Thanks, Pops. You really helped me see the light. Huh. <laughs> this was new. The old man threw an apple to Vern and they exchanged a nod. Then, without explaining this bizarre bond between them that just came out of the blue, he left. 
Um, does anyone else feel like the space-time continuum just broke? Io was staring dumbfounded at the small dragon, who was already happily munching away on a tart Granny Smith. Had he... matured? Enough to ignore his most hated of hated insults? Seriously, this is just too much to believe! He called you a lizard and everything! Maybe the ship will be a little quieter from now on, huh? Hold it! I ain't no lizard! And don't you say that in front of the apple! What if it hears you? <laughs> uh, maybe he'd get there in another adventure or two. the last of them, which means less <laughs> comfort. 
immediately. Great. What you hiding? Not bad. Man, this sucks. <laughs> totally. So much freaking work to do. Hmm? Say, uh, don't you two work for Zothba? Who's asking? Ah, snap, it's rolling. Where you been hiding, man? Thanks for always looking out for the boss. No, no, quite the opposite. Zothba has always been the one bailing me out. That info on Avia was spot on. <clears throat> But enough about that. It looks like you gentlemen are in a bit of a pickle. A pickle? Nah, man. We're swamped with work right now. Everyone in the family's fully booked. So, if you got biz with the boss, could you maybe go chill and come back later? Huh. I get you're busy, but we're also on the clock here. So, what I'm hearing is, once these errands of yours are cleared out, that'll open up Zothba's schedule. Is that right? More or less. Not like our mountain of work is gonna get smaller anytime soon, though. Got it. Captain, what do you say to lending these fine fellows a hand? Anything to help Lyria. Right. We need info. And if it takes a little elbow grease, then let's grease it up. There you go. Meet your newest co-workers. And not just any co-workers. These Skyfarers have an impressive resume. For real? Awesome. Thanks. We appreciate it. And for starters, you think you could check in with a buddy of ours? He should be at the market. Haha! <laughs> Let's kick some tail! Dork! Get in! Feels like I'm in a maze! <laughs> Ready for some action? Got the word. Ready to roll up your sleeves? Here's the deal. Some bigwig lost something in the city. Something really dangerous. I, uh, can't handle it myself without my legs turning to jelly. Talk with an alliance rep. I, uh, left the details with them.
Huh? <laughs> You're looking for something dangerous? Oh, <laughs> you must mean that. Mm, yeah. I know a few folks that might be able to help you out. I'll write down what they look like. Go see what they have to say. You're looking for something a magnet lost. Huh. That could only be one thing. Yep, no doubt about it. If it's what I think it is, you'll find it in an alley. looking for a dangerous thing? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I guess you could call it dangerous. Try looking in places with shade, but be careful. Never know what might jump out at you. Wait, so the thing is alive? Ugh, this is making my beard bristle. above skies the heavens have anointed me as their beacon raise your eyes to the blue that which you seek may come from above these are eyes to the blue um what are you talking about look in the shade above our heads down an alley is that what they're telling us maybe guess it's time to start crawling the back streets of seed hollow what you have? <laughs> Don't tell me that's the dangerous thing we've been looking for. It's just a cat. Geez, how dangerous can it be? Come on, let's get it home. The client is over the moon. <laughs> Glad that's over with. You could have just told us you can't stand cats. <laughs> when I was a kid, I got scratched by one. It left a scar on my body and my psyche. Ah, but you don't want to hear about that. Thanks again. Can't believe we went on a wild cat chase. Why would the family stop uh, bother with boring jobs? I believe being a good information broker means having a finger in every pie, uh, so to speak. In any case, we're making good progress. On to the next task. Let's see the young bucks do this. Can't wait to try this out in the field. Learn me something good. Learning new stuff. Ready for action. Intriguing.
A new technique. Something for my arsenal? That's the stuff. at a better time. We're assessing the castle's manpower, but it's not like the guards will volunteer to take a survey. I hate to use the term eavesdrop, but we're short on ears. If you see any castle guards, could you listen in? Out of sight and without getting caught, obviously. My granddad said the craziest thing the other day. Well, don't leave me hanging. You know the Corridor of Peace? Know why they really call it that? No, why? It's to honor an astral who once saved us sky dwellers. <laughs> That's a good one. What a joke. That's what I said. They were the ones who conquered us. A compassionate astral. <laughs> Can you imagine? Now that story I'd like to hear more about. Unfortunately, it has nothing to do with our task. Remember, keep it hush hush. Is there anywhere we can hide? This spot looks good for spying. Heard the news? Yeah. They raised the threat level for the Skydom. They keep sending reinforcements to Tempeel and other islands. Castle defenses will be stretched thin. It's taking a toll on the public safety team, too. The Church of Avia has been popping up everywhere. At least we're safe here. Don't have to worry about Seed Hollow getting invaded. Just hope I don't get shipped out. Mobilizing soldiers out of Seed Hollow is sapping the castle's defenses. People might get edgy if this leaks. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so... Remember, keep it hush-hush. Is there anywhere we can think we can hide here? I know what I saw. That Harvin was wearing white robes. Match what was described in the intel report to a T. They say that uniform stole out to one of the deadliest groups in Avia. Obviously, the Silver Wolf Corps is also nothing to sneeze at. But this group uses strange techniques. Uh, I should have arrested that Harvin. What if they've already infiltrated the city? Avia may have already infiltrated Seed Hollow? 
That's bad news. But good to know. I think we've heard enough. Let's go report this in. Tulips, daisies, orchids. Paxtos tune? How'd it go? I see. I guess we'd better offer some resources to bolster the castle's defenses. By the way, didn't you say something about needing to see the boss? He should be in by now. Why don't you head for the bar? This is awesome guy sure likes to dip his talons in everything, huh? Yes. Thanks to him and his informants, the city's managed to stay relatively peaceful. But I'm going to do him one better and protect every single dweller in these skies. Really? Are you sure you're not biting off more than you can chew? Oh, uh, was that too much? Anyway, time to hit the bar. Welcome. Can I take a look? Tempering your weapons? Let me show you what my master has taught me. Always strive to be strong. I'll unlock the power. What do you have on you? Which weapon, Sean Strength? Got an order for a new weapon? It's complete. Leave it to me. That went well. Always strive to be stronger. I can make any weapon you want. Please use it with care. Leave it to me. Not bad, is it? Come again. What do you say? Will you accept it? We're counting on you.
should be the last of them, which means quest complete. What you hiding? Great. It's finally time to meet the legend himself. From what I've seen with his underlings, he runs a tight ship. Yep, that's luck. Everyone, meet Zafba. Hmm. Hmm. Well, out with it. Hmm. That's some jam. Yeah. I was hoping you could help. Let's talk business. You didn't let me finish. We aren't a charity. Selling info is how we don't starve. And the juicier the intel, the tastier our meals. You want a seat at the table? You gotta bring the bread. Know what I'm saying? So, how much will it cost? Avia exposes us to huge risk. At the friend discount, you're looking at seven mil. Seven million rupees? That's enough to purchase several airships. We settle our payments up front, but I wager your wallets are a little bit light at the moment. How about a proposal? You scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. We really don't have time for this. Huh. Don't pass on a deal till you've heard every last detail. We've already looked into the mind sealer around your friend's neck. The catalyst stone that'll cancel the magic sleeps in some ruins on Dolly Island. Are you absolutely certain? 
Let me guess. You're giving us the scoop because you want something in return. <laughs> Man knows how to cut to the chase. All you resourceful folks have to do is break the seal on those ruins. It just so happens there's hidden treasure in there we'd love to get our hands on. And those are the conditions. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Yep, we both get what we want. Seems fair enough. At this point, I think any lead is worth investigating. The choice is yours, Captain. I'll be waiting at the port. Come see me when you've got your answer. Mr. Shade back there was no ordinary dude. I think you painted a different picture of the guy, Roland. <laughs> uh, well, he's very passionate about his work, yes. We didn't come here to dig up treasure for someone else. I know it's not the most direct way to get to Lyria, but it's better than nothing. Why did it have to be Dolly Island, though? Not to mention breaking the seal on the ruins. But if we don't take that risk... Hi, everyone! I bear good tidings. Thoughtful wanted to thank you for your hard work. Something about finding hot gossip and shady cats? High-faring work sure is something else. <laughs> Enjoy your gift! in the market looks so good too bad it'll have to wait for another day yeah who knows when we'll find the time to kick back and relax i'm sure lyria will fall in love with this beautiful city it's gonna be great showing her around i don't got all day Are we doing this or not Pleasure working with you. Good. Neither of us wants a fine business opportunity to slip through our fingers. <laughs> um, hey, this is out of the blue, but I might have some personal things to tend to. Oh, say what? You're gonna flake on us? Uh, while you check the ruins, I'll look for the red ship. It'll be more efficient. I appreciate the thought, but should you go after them alone? There's no need to worry about me. I promise. I always finish what I start. <sighs> Thank you, Roland. We owe you so much. Take care of them, Zothba. Are you telling me how to do my job? Who's wearing the informant pants here? Oh, <laughs> you, you got me there. What was I thinking? Oh, but at least take this. Well, well. A transceiver. I made it with my own two hands. I'd like it back when this is over. <laughs> Better hope it doesn't fall apart on me, then. Now, as a small bonus, our family's pride and joy will fly you to Dolly in style. Be careful out there, everyone. Maybe we could use this. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before you ask, this ride's free. Make it worth my while, Skyfarers. Dolly Island. That's where we're going to find the Catalyst Stone to free Lyria from the Mind Sealer. This is our last thread of hope. And nothing's gonna make us let go. Not even a waking nightmare. It's okay. Come, the stars await.
And we mustn't keep them. You were tossing. Do you feel all right? Yeah. And how are you feeling? I feel fine. Why ask me such a question? I... <gasps> I found it. Another god. As we fly closer to the main island, an ocean of sand seems to stretch on forever. Large ruins break the surface like icebergs. It's time to start digging through the past, because in one of those tombs lies the catalyst to our future. Time to dig up that catalyst! Save us time. Just don't wipe out and eat sand. Yep. Promising. I once read that treasure's always buried off the beaten path. There's anything here. On second thought, do we even know what the catalyst is? Yeah. 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 It's working! Help me out! I'll take the Reason place! Yes, I have to. Now, now teach him! Let's keep it Bring up! Bring it on! Right, let's move on. Fire! Roll with the punch! 
saving this one. Yes, I mean. Go. You have my face. It's working. Great. Uh, let's keep it up. <laughs> Over there. Looks like a way into the ruins. Remember the seals Zothba was talking about? They may be around here. <sighs> nice and cool. Let's see. A little shade makes a great all the difference. When was this structure built? Despite the wear and tear, Don't mind it doesn't seem that old to me. Probably has a complicated history, like every other tomb with buried treasure. <laughs> gave out and you know it. Uh, whatever the circumstances, it saved you time. And that's worth celebrating. Good business is all about efficiency. I mean, you're not wrong. We need as much time as we can get. Are we still going the right way? Yep. Yeah. Up ahead, you'll see something that looks like a door. We all know these sorts of places are riddled with traps. Nothing's free in life. You want the catalyst? You gotta work for it. Skyfarer's job never ends. Keep one hand on your weapon at all times. Hey, it'd be boring if all we did was step on tiles. Let's start by exploring up ahead. Ah, what just happened? What peculiar wind magic. Perhaps this mechanism was used as a form of transportation? That ought to make desert surfing a breeze. Don't mind if I do.
So we need to make this whole circle glow, huh? You've got it. It's basically a trap door to the vault. Once you activate all the keys, the door will unlock. And that sweet, sweet treasure will be mine. Uh, you mean there's more than one key? Yep. Remember the first one you stepped on? Let's do that a few more times. Man, they're scattered throughout this whole desert. At least our sight lines are clear. Should be easy enough to spot them. version of one. I wonder if they imported the technology from Earth Day. Was it guarding something? Please don't move. Please don't move. We managed to pull through.
I owe you one. Looks like we're halfway there. Let's just hope nothing interrupts us. than I'd hoped. It almost feels like primal powers sprinkled in with the sands and room. Residue from the Dali catastrophe. Leveled the island one night 15 years ago. Holy mackerel. What in the world happened? Uh, 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 any non-work related info is gonna cost extra. Fine, whatever. I didn't want to know that bad anyway. Part of the circle's lit up! That switch we activated worked! Good. You already know what to do. Light up the rest so we can get inside. Heads up! Heads up! Heads up! them! You know, I think I'm starting to get used to this item. Wisely. We can split them off into smaller groups. Ever tasted lead? Trigger finger? Was that all of them? Hope we didn't stumble onto ancient burial grounds. Did this used to be a tower? Probably. And judging from the look of these ruins, it collapsed in a low- Hold on! Something's coming! Where'd that monster come from? It's not like the other! Fire! 
That thing gave me the willies. Credit where credit's due. It was no lazy bones. Sigh. You done clearing out moots? Then hightail it over to the key. Only halfway? Pick up the pace! Baby fully shimmering in no time. Are you guys okay? I needed that. to have met him. He's been nothing but helpful. <laughs> Man's too kind for his own good. Always sticking his neck out for people. Let's see. <laughs> what you hiding? Not bad. It's here! Weapons out! It's flapping around like crazy! Yeah, stay sharp! Yeah. 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 Fire in the yeah. 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 Here comes Let's healing! I appreciate, appreciate it. it. <laughs> Roll with the foot! Heads up! Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dodge accordingly. Come on. 
Loud and clear. Let's the dust! I don't like the looks of this. Understood. and grab the loot. I've got a date with that treasure chest. Now for the moment of truth. That catalyst better be there. Should be sitting pretty on its own tailor-made pedestal. I don't care what you grab first. Just don't forget to bring us back our box of riches. again. If you want a beating, we'll oblige. You took the words right from my mouth. Who said that? That stone is a captivating prize. Unfortunately, I can't allow you to claim it. <laughs> Damn. are my kindred. business. 
Failed, my lady. Oh, very well. Since you insist upon testing the sword veil. Protect you! Fall now! I'll 
Galanza likes you so much. His lust for battle makes him rather reckless, doesn't it? I grow weary of this fight! Weapons of legend, assemble! Victory! 
Roland, is the Grand Cipher back to 100%? Yes. We're on our way over right now. You're getting it done. Thanks, pal. So, any news on the Catalyst? We sort of ran into a minor hiccup, but it's safe in our hands now. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Great job out there, everyone. I'm coming to pick you up now. Thanks. Wait. Roger. I won't fail! <laughs> Everybody run! My lady! Fall back! Uh, what is it this time? That doesn't look right from up here. Oh no! Listen to me! You all need to get out of here! Crap, move it! Thank <laughs> you. 
providing power to Excavate. can feel pain. Keep up the punishment, gang. Look out, everyone! A powerful attack is coming! Get ready to avoid it! It's aiming at the airship! Let us. We'll keep it busy for you. I'll circle in as well.
see a red crystal exposed on Excavalion's back. If I had to guess, that core powers everything. Seems like entering repair mode leaves it weak and vulnerable. Are you ready, Zappa? That's it, you had to ask. All right, crew. Let's get trigger happy. Here, Captain's blade! Ah! Catalina! I'll protect you! 
Same. My dogs are barking. Hey! Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> I'm glad you're safe, Vern. And the catalyst? Do you still have it with you? Got it right here! Thank goodness. And all that's left is to rescue Lyria from Avia. when we don't even know where to look. I've got that covered. I discovered where the red ship is going. Whoa! Did you really? Mm-hmm. Yes, really. They're heading to a place called Fondem, the Scarred Isles. Magma flows deep beneath the land. Not exactly what I'd call an ideal vacation spot. It almost sounds like a volcano. Why would they go there? I'll explain on the ship. Come, back to the Grand Cipher. Hey, folks. Sorry to butt in. Me and the boys are gonna park ourselves right here. If you come across any curios while you're out there, come see us again. We'll treat you some great items for them. Give us the VIP treatment. Uh, you got cheek, don't you? I can appreciate the hustle. Hmm. You folks are tough. But if you really need me, just call. I'll come around. In the meantime, try not to kick the bucket. Got it?
Interesting. Excellent. Great. Behold, new power. Interesting. Excellent. That's nice. Sweet. Yeah, that should work. Not bad. Again. Welcome. Which weapon shall I strengthen? Let me show you what my master has taught me. Perfect. Leave it to me.
see. Will you take this one? We're counting on you. Now 
there. This one? Best of luck! Somebody's got to hold it down. Good work. Keep it up, and we'll finish the next wave in no time. They just keep coming, but we'll show them who's boss. Stay alert. <laughs> This one. Not in a good way. Take that. This is gonna burn. Let's do it. Let's go. This crew. The honor's all mine. Good work. Keep it up, and we'll finish the next wave in no time. Finger 
Fire's itching! Huh? All together! Oh, Try to yeah. blast them! Don't overdo it, okay? We're in the home right now! Keep it up! This one? Be on your way!
it up again. Oh, I'm not liking the look of this. But don't let it intimidate them. Day. Let's see. This one? What do you say? Will you accept it? Be on your way. Not over yet! 
I love when a plan comes together. You got that? Let's keep it up. Ready Nothing to fear. Well, yeah, see, Boku. This one? What do you say? Will you accept it? Here are the details. Be on your way. Be the last of them, which means quest complete. Not what you hide. Great.
easier than eating apples. It can't hurt just to look around. What have you got to lose? Enhancing your sigils? What you got? We buy everything. Can I take a look? Expect only the best. Come again. Oh, God! Ah! 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 
Welcome. Temper in your weapons? I'll apply a right stone from the primeval god. I'll unlock the power within. Thanks for coming. Uh, sky... Ah, sigil enhancement. It's a great success. of it. Intriguing. Interesting. Excellent. Maintain your firearm. If you put in the work, you'll see the results. My sword feels lighter. Perfect practice makes for perfect technique. <laughs> All right. That's the stuff.
Yes. The catalyst is ours. It's just a matter of time before we get our Lyria back. With the catalyst in our hands, we board the Grand Cipher to go after Avia again. Next stop is Fonda. Just a short hop, step, and a flight away. It's been roped off as a danger zone, which uh, isn't ominous at all. The church is headed there for one thing. Yet another altar housing a primeval god. All of Zega Grande's gods, or I guess primal beasts, are a force to reckon with. But we can't let Avia keep exploiting Lyria's power. If they force her to commit atrocities, once this is all over, she'll never forgive herself. Thick black smoke blankets the sky. Rivers of fire flow below. Yeah, pretty much the perfect stage for a fateful showdown. Well, here's to hoping we make it out in one piece. There, we're moored. Red ship shouldn't see us from here. We'll hit him before they know what's coming. I'm not the only one who saw that big-ass fire geyser, right? No, we all saw it. Only a primal could pull that off. Then it's clear that's where they've taken Lyria. Prepare for take... <laughs> what now? I believe it means the volcano is close to erupting. How are you so calm? Lava is not how I want to go out. And what about the Grand Cipher? Preaching to the choir. Of course, I want to go rescue her, but I just. Ugh. Hmm. I saw how they handled Excavalion. They could be my best bet going forward. But we'll be stranded here if we lose the ship. It would all be for nothing. All right. I'll take the helm and fly the ship to safety. Once the area stabilizes, I'll come back to pick you guys up. You all go on ahead. Sorry for the trouble, Roland. Sure you don't mind? Not at all. 
Besides, since when has Mr. Fixit ever let you down? Ah, uh, before I go. Vern, do you mind showing me the catalyst? Wait, right now? Um, sure. No problem. There, I've activated it. Hold it near Lyria, and it should release the lock on the collar. And that'll give us a fighting chance! Thanks, fix it, dude! Hmm... Time to part ways for now. Danger lurks around every corner in this place, so proceed with caution. Don't worry about us. You just focus on keeping the Grand Cypher safe. Come on, everyone. We need to hurry. Skyfarers. Lilith was my responsibility. We'll share some apples when you come home, Lyria. So that's magma, huh? Makes the desert feel downright frosty. Fall in and it's goodbye world. No one surviving that. Hey, you guys notice anything different about Roland? Not really. I mean, I guess he seems kind of tired. He's helped us out of more jams <laughs> than I can count. Let's get him something Not nice bad. once this is over. <laughs> you guys smell treasure? Now, all you've got to do is collect those stones. You've got this. before we try again. Look at all those shiny rocks! Make sure you nab them all! I can feel it. 
A primal beast is nearby. Beast. Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is he's the reason Lyria's here in the first place. Crap, crap, crap. Volcano's getting ready to blow. Oh no! The crowd is sinking into the magma! Can't do anything about it! Just run for your lives! Don't look back! Anytime soon, right? That primal looks quite similar to Bahamut. Is that why it was able to imprison Lyria? Why is it taking a dip in the magma? Oh, the ice! It's a magma wave! Get swallowed by that, and it'll eat more than a nasty bird! Get to the cover of that outcropping! It's our only chance! Now's our chance to close the gap! Wave in half? I don't know whether to be grateful or terrified. Both, I guess. Oh, no! Are you okay? Why yeah, is he going there far? Would he really be trying to save Lyria? I mean, even if he does, he'll just take her away again. And we're back to square one. My thoughts exactly. Can't let him do that. It looks like they've come to an impact. Now we can join the fight. Another wave is coming! I believe it. 
some kind of natural defense mechanism. What do we do now? Our attacks are getting through at all. That's the primeval god of dread for you. There's no control yet. I see what happened now. Avia brought Lyria to this altar and awakened the primal beast. But, as a manifestation of dread, it turned right around and did what you feared most. It abducted Lyria. Is that the gist of it? <laughs> be able to get through to the giant snake, but I know someone who can. Of course, the catalyst. We'll create an opening so you can wake Lyria up. Another chase is afoot. It's running scared because it knows the catalyst worked. Our next encounter will be its last. You. We're waiting to kill it. I'm going to get the wake up all of her flight. How'd they get down there? down this god, you'll need my help. All right. We'll work with you for as long as our goals align. I still don't like the idea of teaming up with this loser. Beggars can't be choosers. I take you right now. Go the floor again. Means our attacks won't get through. Burn, let's do what we did before. After we create an opening, you use the catalyst. Got it. I'll be ready. Here goes. Oh, 
Take this road, it'll engulf the whole island in flames. We need to extinguish the fire, and quickly. shares a life link with Lyria. Their fates are connected. Hehe! <laughs> 
Do it again. Watch uh, this. This is why we are the best. Go on. The honor is all mine. <laughs> Did you like that? Then the going gets tough. Yeah, this is it, huh? The point of no return. It's us or the prime. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Finish it, Burn. Leave it to me. Well done, everyone. Where did you come from? Huh? You can't do that! Give her back to us! It... What a pity. Grief and misery make fools of us all. Here I see a troop of puppets, flouncing about in a play with no audience. And your bond with the shaman? It's threadbare. Little more than a thin line of hope. Fear not, and trust me with your strings, and I shall deliver salvation unto you all. I know this is much too sudden for you to comprehend. But don't struggle. Embrace it. Pitiful fool! Face your judgment! Be a nice and obvious leader to come to greet us yourself. Saved us the trouble of tracking you down. My dear, I'm not looking for a fight. I've come to extol the virtue of salvation. Make your friend! She's climbing with power! I'm afraid to even get close to her! You will love you in that believable manner. Such a and look at that black aura coming off of her. The ordeals of our pilgrimage are nearly at an end. Your crew is lively to thank you now. Acknowledge my vision. And salvation shall come. Isn't it obvious that I am shepherding all to a transcendent future? We don't need your phony baloney philosophy. As skyfarers, you we put our faith in a real sky. Uh, the time has come to pen a new chapter in this saga. This has been a long journey, but a fruitful one. Now, to open the gates and bask in the light of paradise! Stop! What are you doing? No, we'll all be... <laughs> Why must you reject salvation? Do you not see that it is the perfect course? Mm -hmm. You dare defy me to the end? Mm -hmm. 
I'd rather not harm you. That would not be in the shaman's best interest. So I ask, judge for yourself the miracle of my salvation. Why? This has always belonged to us. I admit, I am intrigued as to how you were able to activate the Catalyst. Although, I suppose it no longer matters at this point. With the Primals in my possession, I've won. She knows how to make a strong cage. My powers are useless against it. Damn it! We didn't come this far to get put in timeout! There is still hope left. And now even Vulcan Bola has fallen into Lilith's hands. I can't stall any longer. The fate of the skies calls upon the might of your crew. Will you fight to save it? Roland, I'm not sure if I like where this is going. Yeah. Tell us what this is all about. Of course. But first, your injuries need tending to. Let's return to the ship. The time to reveal the truth has come. Well, the floor is all yours, Roland. Thanks. First, I want you all to take a look at this. That's the beast from Tempeel. Furikin. Lilith released the primal beasts from their slumber and stole their powers. Those powers now flow within Lyria. She's essentially a living storage vessel. The Astral Realm is Lilith's home. One way back is to restore the Forbidden Primal. Angra Mainyo. I hope I'm wrong, but... She plans to feed it the other beast's powers. Just how big and nasty is this Mainyu thing? It's the Primal Beast of Gateways, allowing all kinds of travel between any two points. Distance doesn't matter, so in theory, one could even pass through to the Astral Realm. It doesn't sound that evil to me if all it does is open a bunch of doors. <sighs> if only it were that innocent. The problem lies in what's needed to open a gate. You see, the gates require energy proportional to the distance between them. Now, let's pretend we want to open a gate to the Astral Realm. In this case, distance is secondary. Now we're discussing interdimensional travel. So, energy-wise... Yes. An extraordinary amount will need to be consumed. And that instantaneous consumption will trigger grave repercussions. At best, Zeka Grande would be reduced to nothing in the aftershock. At worst, most of the Sky Realm 
would cease to exist as we know it. There's no way that's possible! Then let me tell you a story. Fifteen years ago, Lilith revived Angra Mainyu. She attempted to open the gate to the Astral Realm. Fortunately, for whatever reason, she failed in her scheme. But a number of islands weren't so lucky, and they were rendered uninhabitable. Survivors of the incident are forever cursed to live their lives with unending trauma. That's awful. You see now? She won't give up. She will utilize the power of the Four Primals and attempt to cast open the gates once more. And the only thing waiting for us on the other side of those gates is sheer destruction. We can't allow history to repeat itself. There's something I'd like to ask about this woman, this Lilith. She's an astral, isn't she? The potency of her powers and her obsession with the astral realm give her away. <sighs> the astrals. The invaders who once ruled over our skies. You are correct. Mm-hmm. Well, it takes one to know one. <laughs> Unbelievable. I suspected as much a while back. You knew a great deal about this Skydom, things that no ordinary person should know. I'll be damned. Real live astral right under our noses. <laughs> Sorry, can't blame the guy for being on edge. Is that those are obvious raptors? You're kidding! They really chased after us? They couldn't have mobilized a hunting party this quickly. Of all the times to hound us, they choose now? Well, they're here. Less talking, more blasting! just occurred to me. There's only one destination at the end of this flight path. Which means we're headed to the same place as these jokesters. Indeed. But let us discuss particulars after we have saved our hides. You please don't know when to give up. It seems conviction is a strong motivator. Well, when you got an astral yank in your chain. <laughs> Did you like that? Let's just focus on the path ahead. Let's go, That was the last of them. Looks like Obvious already making their next move. I must take action. Wait, I just want to be super sure. Are you really an astral? <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. We've met other astrals before. Loki and Mikaboshi, if those names ring a bell. They have their own particular philosophies. But you seem different from them. I know, right? It's like Fixit Dude actually wants to be a part of the Sky Realm. Indeed. It was no act when you risked life and limb to save the people of Folka and Tempeel. I'll be honest. I once viewed Sky Dwellers as insignificant. But that all changed. Many years ago. The first friend I ever made in this world taught me a valuable lesson. They
I said there is strength in solidarity. Understanding can overcome adversity. Help us grow. Volka is now my home away from home. The people there are like family to me. Sadly, we experience longevity on different scales. If I were granted one wish, it'd be to stay with them forever. At the very least, I want them to be happy. I'll do anything I can as an astral to protect the populace, to protect the islands. And I'll stop Lilith, no matter the consequences I must suffer. We understand how you feel. The Sky Realm is our home, too. So you can count on us. I guess even astrals come in all kinds of different flavors. Just like Sky Dwellers. The same can be said of primal beasts. Heh. <laughs> Kinda weird having an astral watching our backs for once. But I won't complain. Thanks, everyone. I'm sorry I haven't been up front with you all. I suppose I was acting out of cowardice. I was afraid of your reactions. If you learned I was an astral. We're in this together. <laughs> Captain. Thank you. <laughs> dumb and dumb. Yes. With Roland's aid, we'll surely stop Lilith and rescue Lyria. Angramanyu's real body is in an altar beneath Seed Hollow Castle. Yikes. There's a sinister primal lurking right under that huge city? Yes. And I'm the one who sealed it down there centuries ago. But if Lilith found Angra 15 years ago, that means the seal is... Broken. When she squandered away Angra's power, she failed to capture its true form as well. I'm certain it's still in the altar somewhere, camouflaged by its gateway powers. Ah, so that's why you stayed behind in Seat Hollow, to find the damn thing. Indeed. Unfortunately, my search turned up nothing. However, the moment Lilith summons Angra's real body, that may be our chance to strike. I warn you, she and I are equally matched. But, lucky for me, I've got the better team. Apia's no doubt getting closer to the castle. There's no time to lose. We'll gear up in the city and make a run for the altar. Or else these skies are done for. Tail it back to Seed Hollow before it's too late. So, we've suddenly found ourselves caught up in an astral tug of war, decades in the making. The relationship between Lilith and Roland remains unclear, but one thing is certain Roland is our greatest ally in Zega Grande. And with all the good he's done here, his love for Sky Dwellers is plain as day. Together, I know we'll stop Lilith and ensure Angra Manyu's gate stays closed. We will protect the Sky Realm.
Seed Hollow is burning. Another victim in Avia's desperate mission to return to the stars. This all started because I brought Lyria to Zega Grande. And now our battle is intertwined with the fate of the Sky Realm itself. We need to get to the heart of the city and fix the damage that's been done. Whoa! Is this even the same city? No time to assess casualties, I'm afraid. Not when we know Avia will make a beeline for the castle. I suspect we'll face a tough road ahead. Everyone, prepare yourselves accordingly. Oh, you back already? Look, you've scratched my back in the past, so I'm willing to give part with some intel, free of charge. Regarding the city, my people are out surveying the damage as we speak. Early reports suggest, strangely enough, that Avia isn't focused on taking out the commercial district. Instead, they're concentrating on one area and one area alone. The castle. Considering they've got a force of 5,000 strong, you'd think they'd try to occupy more. But here we are. In addition to the ground troops, they've got manned and unmanned aircraft to boot. Not to mention, the Silver Wolf Corps and the Sword Veil seem to be acting in concert. First time for everything, huh? To be completely honest, the whole thing makes me mad as hell. I'd like to jump into this circus and pound a few chumps myself. The city's well-being comes first. You just go smack their leader a good one for me. Got it? They'll all sleep better once she's out of commission. Avia is focused entirely on occupying Seed Hollow Castle. I fear Lilith is wasting no time. She's not sparing numbers either. There's a million of them swarming around. We don't need to engage with all of them. Cut off the snake's head, and you don't have to worry about the body. Uh, Sky Fairy. Can I take a look? What do you have on you? Ah, sigil enhancement. I went well. For the assistance. I would never abandon one of Zeta Grande's most vital trading hubs. It's not in my nature to watch a crisis unfold from the sidelines. By the way, Captain, I don't know if you've heard, but the castle is under attack by the Church of Avia. That forced each of the city's wards to declare temporary lockdowns. I'll be around until the brouhaha settles down. Give me a holler if you need anything. We can't let Avia get away with all they've done. Take this, and go show them who's boss. Yeah. Oh, father! Now here's an offer you can't refuse. Which crew member would you like to call?
The church's attack has shut this whole city down. Talk about dire straits. At least Sierra still has her shop open. That's kind of a relief, right? Once she hears coins jingling, I'm not sure Bahamut himself could stop her. Anyway, let's double check our supplies before moving on. We'll enter the castle through these doors. Everyone ready? Ready. This time, I'm coming too. We'll save Lyria and stop Lilith once and for all. should be just down this corridor. Man, those poor seed hollow guards. They didn't sign up for this. Out this area. Get out of here or face the struggle. Idiot! It's in the crew! Lady Lilith will reward us generously for their heads! We got too much on the line to back down now! Give them heads, bud! Don't back down! We have the power of the primeval gods on our side! Primeval gods, huh? Amazing how that term persists. 600 years after I first formed Avia, Lilith and I were working on our experiment. Study the effects of sky dweller emotions, such as faith, on primal beasts. But she twisted the convictions of the reshaping them as building blocks for this paramilitaristic cult. Lady Lilith will guide us to the promised land. We do not fear death. Inquisitor Rook's group will be here soon. Hold on till then. Haven't had your fill of your. The church finds you in defiance of Our Lady's grand message. Face your penance! Now we have to deal with full on battleships? This is not in my job description. We don't have time to repel all of them. Stopping Lilith comes first. Wait, Roland. Weren't you the one who sealed Angra mine you? Indeed. 500 years ago. You couldn't find a better location? For sky's sake, putting a primal like that under a damn metropolis! Forgive me. It was the height of the war, and I needed a place inaccessible to an astral like Lilith. So you chose an enemy stronghold. Not exactly a conventional plan, but effective nonetheless. How dare you fabricate these lies about Lady Lilith's astral origin? You will learn to stay your tongue, interloper. Finally broke through them. Onward and downward? These soldiers are not to blame for Lilith's machinations. And yet they're the ones paying the ultimate price. A little debris won't stop us. Allow me. You can find so you can clear rubble. Think you can clean an airship? What's the pay like? Shall we talk price? Quickly! The Undercroft should be close. Worship ah, cannons! These Avia jerks do not play fair! We can take refuge in the cellars below! There's no way their fuselage will reach us down there! I just hope they stop firing completely! This castle's too pretty to be destroyed! Gonna take half a miracle to bring down that carrier! So do we run, or...? <gasps> Judging from the position of this tower, the terrace leading to the court should be close. Let's head there. Put your home. Great! Thanks for waiting, everyone. Take care of yourselves, okay? Now we face the interlopers who routed Rook and his men! A Lady Lilith! Yeah, a Lady Lilith! Again? We're just gonna see 
You bowed into the first. We will not let you stand in the way of our glorious mission! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Do you even know what Lilith is planning to do? How dare you question our lady! You will die for salvation! The absolute man! You're wrong! She would swallow this whole sky up to see her selfish ambition fulfilled! You concluded just that! Just as she did 15 years ago in Bali! You aim to do my deceit. It will not work! You will pay for making a mockery of Lady Lilith! They would die before doubting Lilith? She has been utterly bewitched. Maybe now not. Have stretched this morning. Now they have more toys to harass oh, us no, with. Peach, they really deployed him to tie you a tie. But it should still be in the research phase. The multiple legs allow for maximum stability and maneuverability. It has high firepower and horsepower and a certain je ne sais quoi. Sorry. Just like you blow anything else up. So maybe we could try to salvage it? Let's grab this thing before it shoots us straight in. That's not good. We won't be able to lay a finger on it while its boosters are after it. Focus on evasion for now. Easy enough for you to say. You see it dashing around everywhere? This bottle of Taguatari expends tons of energy while boosting. It shouldn't last much longer. If only we could explain it to death. An exchange of weaponry? Everyone, be on guard! The captain's here! Watch out! compared to the core. That's where we should focus our fire.
We beat the screws out of that robo! Well done! And what a relief we didn't completely destroy such a fine specimen. Hold on, you hear that humming? I don't think we're out of the woods yet. Now we have to fight two of them? Allow me! Uh, don't mind if I recruit a little help? Its core seems undamaged. I could use it to fight off the others. Did you really just hop up on that thing? Do you even have a license? Where we're going, we have no need for licenses. It'll be a cinch to cover you. Why does Roland always get weirder around new machines? Yeah, I don't like that twinkle in his eyes. Oh, come now. Why must you criticize me mid-battle? Can't we focus? Prepare our cannons. We're happy with our reinforcement. Are you it's our time to come online? Is it? Never fear. I'll have it removed post haste. The 
There should be an entrance to the undercroft from the front of the court. Let's hurry. I know you'll get Take care of yourself, okay? to die for. There's no better appetizer to a banquet of blood. I knew you'd be back for more. In the name of the Sword Veil Fellowship, I shan't let you take another step. Let's have a clean... Death match! Befitting obvious two strongest generals. As you can see, my poorest creation is in need of some entertainment. Do not support it. Here goes nothing. I hear ya. Piercing! Catalina! I'm here! Behold the pinnacle of swordsmanship! Geo! I'm on it! I'm obviously very strong, but these two take it to a whole different level! You flatter us, sir. May we have the honor of knowing your name before we destroy you? Strange, Wicked. But I'm just a nobody from a far away... My sword! I spear! Madness can stone you! They're attacking in tandem! Linking together was your hard trick for- Come on! Show them what we got! Indeed, just as we planned. Ah! Look for the star! They shall guide us to Providence we tell them! Silver Nail Can't get a feed on us! They've managed to combine might and skill in perfect harmony. Oh, my God. 
the lunacy of my position to be making demands of you but please the sword veil are my family if you can find it in your heart to spare them take me i staked my life on this death match now come claim your hard-earned spoils <laughs> Look, we just want to get through here without trouble. As long as you stay out of our way, we got no reason to fight anymore, deal? There's no time to waste. <laughs> Forgive my failure, Lady Lilith. defeat they might actually pull it off of their respective arts. Why do they follow Lilith? Even great warriors may find themselves prey to hard times. Salvation, no matter how false, 
seems an alluring prize. And, well, some astrals have a certain charm, which can prove intoxicating to many Skyfarers. They've got all the nasty tricks. But what about Lilith's son? He an astral too? Mercifully, no. He's a Sky Dweller, same as you. As far as I can tell, Lilith took him in as a child. Not every day you hear about an astral adopting a regular Joe. Whatever's going on here, it don't sit right with me. It seems we've reached a dead end. Not to worry. There's another path this way. What you heard? Not bad. Here we are. Would you all please stand back? Up ahead is the altar where Angra Mainyu lies sealed. We will no doubt find Lilith there already. A special ward warps time and space around Angra, making physical contact impossible. Let us hope Lilith has not breached it yet. We have only one shot at victory. I will strike the moment she calls for Angra. So when it gets its fuel, blast the engine? Yep, that'll do it. Okay, people, look alive. This one's for Lyria. I hope these potions will be enough. Anything for my favorite customer. <laughs> It's been so long. Finally, the dawning of salvation is upon us. The path will soon open. <gasps> oh. I wasn't expecting to see them again. That's enough! Lyria's coming back with us! Is that so? Id? Destroy on remind you. Look around! 
Do you honestly believe Lyria deserves any of that? You think you can save Lyria? What a fool. This crew untold agony. But this time we'll be different. Great job, team! I bet you say that's all the help. We will destroy you! Where is he getting this kind of power? The sheer concentration of magic is extraordinary. I've always thought he was inhumanly strong, but inhuman magic to boot? What the heck is he? Santa, Thank you. Cut them down. Great shooting, Rackham. That was nothing. His counters are fearsome. Yep, let's not make that mistake again. Lay out the attacks while he's in that stand. I've seen enough! Enough. This ends now. Awaken. Your dawn has arrived. Become my power! Yep. 
That speed is a serious problem. Oh, he can't just dash around all day, can he? We have to find his weak spot. Actually down? Let's just get to Lyria. Heal! Thanks! Got heal for ya! were such a careless one. Get ready. <laughs> the primal beast who distorts space itself. I can't believe it overpowered Roland so easily. This fight's going to get desperate. Stay vigilant. These sky dwellers are all leaves, and I am the winner of your discontent. My coming is your death. Even Astraeus was no match for me. I could likely blow you over with a single breath. We won't let you get away that fast. Shut up, you two! Redbreast will never be a Lyria now. Cut loose! Let him have it! Lyria, stay back. Things are bound to get serious. Okay. Be careful, Catalina. I'm not much of a fight. If I notice anything suspicious, I'll tell ya. Winter's playing! Hang him in there! Happy no fair! I'll provide a small see-through, and then her attack stop working! I can tell that it's here, and yet it's not. That must be part of its power. <sighs> like a lamb to the slaughter.
So innocent. So foolish. Captain, please! Protect Lyria at all costs! If only you, Guy Dwellers, had come to your senses, all of this could have been avoided. You are not worth the air you breathe. Return to burn. the void. Not walking away from this. No, not again. This is wrong. How do we stop her? Do you still think you can stop me? What a quaint thought. I'm afraid Anna, your little crew is all out of options. Now, join your lost friends on the other side. Should I see you in the next life? It will be too soon. This will hurt! You let go of me, or I'll come back and taunt your ass! The Sky Realm and all of its inhabitants stand insignificant before Angra, my new. Compared to eking out a meaningless existence, doesn't eternal rest sound far more appealing? No one gives a crap about your evil plans! Just give our friends back! Hear me? What a great little worm! They're gonna make you pay! There's no way you'll get away with this! Now, dear Captain, you deserve to be rewarded above all others for bringing the shaman to my doorstep. Bear witness as your entire world crumbles. skies. Let me whisk you away on a journey aboard the Ark of Angra Mainyu. It's not over. Not yet. You can save us. I know it. Shaman's other half. <laughs> Id, explain yourself. Mother, you told me to protect Lyria. But this. Why this? This isn't what you said! Why did Lyria... Calm yourself, Id. Angra Mainyu has been revived. Thus, the Shaman's role is complete. Consequently, your duty as her guardian is no longer needed. <gasps> but, Mother, please! Temper, Id. It almost sounds as if you disagree with me. Oh! <laughs> 
My naughty child. You're no better than these interlopers. Forget about me! Focus on your link! <laughs> Adversity only seems to push you towards victory. After all, you must be confident you can prance out of here as the hero. Don't be. Humdrum tales of heroism and gallantry have no place on my shelf. Let us finish this charade! Should not have the magical reserve to wield it.
Primeval dragon. Child of darkness and flames. Thy name is... I think. What the hell happened? It appears the Captain and Lyria restored everything back to normal. Way to go, Captain! Man, it's hard keeping up with you young bucks. Always stealing the thunder. <laughs> well done, Captain. Where's Vern? I think we can safely say, all's well that ends well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to apologize to everybody. Even though I couldn't control myself, I could still see everything that was happening. All the scary stuff I did, I was powerless to stop it. I wasn't sure if it was a dream. That wasn't you, Lyria. You all still came to save me. After what I did to everyone. To Catalina. And especially to you. It's okay now. 
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Dry your tears, Lyria. You're back with us now. There's nothing to fear. repeat itself now I understand you're all influenced by the singularity but fate set in motion can't be stopped you will come to understand the depths of my unflinching resolve the astral realm awaits the fruits of my research I won't be denied to Lucia! Stop. If you open the gate to the Astral Realm, this world will be destroyed. Angra was sealed for a reason. Does that mean nothing to you? Let me ask you this instead. Why do you care so much about these skies? They're so full of heartache and despair. Worries that shall be long eclipsed. By the providence of a new order. You're blind, Lilith. Blind to their kinship. Blind to their hopes and dreams. There are things in this world that mean more than power or... Fix it, dude! No, Astraeus. All that is obvious to me is that we don't see eye to eye. And you're as guilty of the same sins as the rest of these fools. <laughs> Hear my voice. Deliver us from grief and sacrifice. Fulfill my salvation. <laughs> Seems so. 
Everybody, run! <laughs> <laughs> Look! What is that? I don't know. It just came is out this of nowhere. The end? Hurry! Go lace up with daggers, crew. Yes, sir. How's the second district holding up? There, boss. I see him! Oh, no. The city's falling to pieces. Hey. I think we need to tell Zothba about Roland. Well, now. Let's do our best! Mm. I smell a new mission! Oh. Uh, sky fish. Which weapon shall I strike? I'll unlock the power within. Let me show you what my master has taught me. Please, show me. Temper in your weapons. to me. I went well. Take care. Yes. But... Some time after the commotion at Tempil, life in Folka began to struggle towards normalcy. The breeze was soft and welcoming. I'd been blind to the city's charms before, focused as I was on rescuing Lyria from the Church of Avia. The sun watched over the victims of Furikin's rage as they raised new homes for themselves from the rubble. But once scars have set in, they are slow to fade. Here and there, the children of Tempil labored with tools too large for their hands. I offered my aid, but the children said their work was their responsibility. As long as you're sure you'll be okay. Some distance away, a small boy burst into a red-faced fit. Lyria and I rushed over, hoping to be of help. Don't try and stop me! I have to do this! He hurled his words like stones as he whipped into a run. Concerned, I asked a nearby man about the boy. He explained that the boy's sister was ill, and the lad was after the remedy, an herb called Windcrest. 
The sickness was assumed to have died out hundreds of years ago, but had now returned to torment the child. And if that's not enough, I heard the woods where Windcrest grows have turned into a monster den. The boy had struck out alone. Folka had no soldiers to spare, for they were all dispatched to Tempil for the reconstruction effort. No one was left to answer his pleas, but I would. In my heart, I vowed to bring back the child, and if possible, the herb too. I prayed only that I wasn't too late. I'll take point. Well, according to that old villager, this is the place we want to be. Perfect. Keep your eyes peeled for Windcrest. Hey! I think I spy some Windcrest! Earth spirits. Strange. We didn't see any the last time we were here. It feels like they're attracted to the wind. Maybe they can feel its power. Can't let up now. Yep, eyes right. on the prize. There's more where that came from. Too much. Turn them against each other. Come on. You like that? We got this in the bag. Let's do it that and less. You don't have to coddle me, you know. Yeah, that should be more than enough. But we still haven't located the boy. What? Where is that coming from? I don't know, but it can't be a good sign. We better hurry. A golem. So that's what was behind the tremors. Crap, it spotted us. Get ready for a fight. I'll support. That's on a swivel, people. You got understood. Well said. I'm rolling shield. Look at you. Get behind my shield. I heard Fury can voice it now. I think that when Fury can cover this archipelago in turn, some of its powers are used with the land. And the monster. With her crown! I want to get left behind. Are you injured? No, I'm not. Can you kill me? Can't afford to let it run free. Not while that boy remains missing. I'll protect you. Fall now. Rest in peace. Yeah. Do it again. Got it in my sights. I need 
Recognize that voice. With a final death knell, the golem stilled. The boy crawled out from the tall grass, and I pressed the wind crest into his trembling hand. Wow! Now I can save my sister! You're the best, lady! He smiled at me, and with a great burden lifted from his shoulders, skipped the whole way back to Folka. As I watched his happy shuffle, I wished more joy and color into his life of toil, which had been covered by the dust of destruction. You think you know the sky and wind, but then you come to a foreign land where unfamiliar songs on the air beckon you toward the unknown. Adelina, where do you think this breeze is coming from? The wind rustled Lyria's hair affectionately as she spoke. From somewhere far, far away. Much time has passed since Lyria and I escaped from the Earth Day Empire and met the captain in the woods of Zinkenstil. I found myself thankful that the sky has no limit, because no matter how many journeys I've made at her side, there will always be more to look forward to. We made medicine from the windcrest you picked. The doctor said Hazel looks better every day. This morning, she was able to get out of bed and do some drawing. She loves drawing pictures. Thanks again, Catalina. From Al. And Hazel. P.S. Please visit Foca when you have a chance. Rackham, there you are. I've got huge news. Listen to this. It was clear from Kent's smile that the repairs on the Nautilus were going smoothly, thanks to a mechanic friend of his. Well, ain't that something. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't impressed. Those parts weren't the easiest to work with. Not bad, Miss Mechanic. Um, Rackham, sir? My friend told me she got the parts from a traveling skyfair. Had three-day-old scruff and a little swagger to him. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Huh. Well, I keep my scruff in an elegant chin strap. Thank you very much. Not sure I sounded very convincing trying to play off his answer, but I'm a helmsman, not an actor. Ha! Huh. But just another performance or two, and the Nautilus would be skybound once more.
running errands in Folka one day, I came across a crowd of people in the town square. But from the sounds of things, it wasn't a friendly get-together. I hate you all! Mom, Dad, everybody in this stupid town! The boy shouted angrily at the adults and took off running, right into me! And we both landed on our backsides. Sheesh! Watch where you're going, kid! And that's when I noticed the tears streaming down his face. He was clearly upset about something. Hey, you okay? The boy hopped to his feet without a word, shooting me a glare before sprinting away. One of the adults started to follow after him, but... Please, Doctor, there's not much time. The crowd stopped him in his tracks. But I can't just... No, you're right. My patients need me. Forgive me, Lev. The man closed his eyes, muttered something to the townspeople, and ran off in the opposite direction. Wait, that kid was crying! You're not gonna go after him? I shouted after the man's back, but he either didn't hear me, or pretended not to. Then I felt a gentle hand on my shoulder. I'm sure he wants to, sweetheart. You see, that boy is his son. The boy's name was Lev. His father was a doctor, with many patients needing urgent care. So he had no choice but to ask the townspeople to find a son for him. I knew I should mind my own business, but I couldn't get the poor kid's face out of my head. He was probably hiding somewhere all by himself, crying his eyes out. I understood all too well how painful it felt to be alone. When Master Tsaka reached out to me, it changed my life forever. Maybe it was my turn to do the same for someone else. I turned to ask the crew if we could join the search, but they were already gearing up to head after him. It seemed we'd all had the same idea. Just you wait, Lev, I thought to myself. I was gonna find him and put a smile back on his face, even if it meant sticking my nose where it didn't belong. Behold, new power. Interesting. Good stuff. I think I get it. The villagers didn't seem too worried about Lev. According to them, he'd have to venture much deeper into the forest before encountering any monsters. But that wasn't the issue. It seemed like nobody wanted to talk about why he'd run off in the first place. It was an obvious cry for help, and nobody was helping! I went through the same thing back in the day. Even after I met my master, there were times when the loss of my parents was just too much to bear. I didn't go so far as to run from home, but I'd sit alone in the corner of my room, hugging my knees to my chest and crying. Whenever Master Zaka found me like that, he'd always perform a silly magic trick to cheer me up. Just like me, all Lev wanted was for someone to find him, to take his hand, so he went off on his own in the hopes that someone would come for him. I'm sure he knew it was selfish, but it was the only card he felt he had left. 
Do you think this means Lev doesn't want to live at home anymore? I had a feeling that wasn't the case. He's probably just going through a rebellious phase. Oh, that's when kids start arguing and acting out, right? Catalina told me it's pretty common. Did you have a phase like that? Lyria's question was innocent enough. But I was too embarrassed to admit that I'd ever gone off alone because I wanted someone to pay attention to me. Heck no! That's not something befitting of a grown lady like myself. So what if I told a little lie? Our biggest concern right now was Lev, who was out there, probably crying with his back up against some rough, silent tree. He needed a friend, and I was more than determined to be one for him. This forest is as huge as ever. I sure hope Lev's okay. Come on! We gotta find him! And fast! Ha! Wait! We're still on the edge of the forest, right? <laughs> what are goblins doing here? Ready to face the music? This is gonna burn! Stay calm! Ready to shield! There's no time to waste! We've got to find him! Watch out for the flyers! We're gonna need that magic of yours, Yo! I don't see him anywhere! We were lucky we found Lev when we did, or he would have been Monster Chow. But before we could talk to him, the town watch came hurrying over. Lev, your parents are worried sick about you. Come on, let's go home. Lev looked away, ignoring the old man's outstretched hand. I could imagine how he was feeling, being treated like he was selfish and immature, when all he wanted was someone to sit down and talk to. The man sighed and scratched his head in frustration. Your mom and dad are fine people. Try being a little more considerate, okay? Lev immediately bristled at those words, breaking his silence. What do you know? This is all your fault! 
Knocking the man's hand out of the way, he turned and ran deeper into the forest. It was like watching a scene from my own past, but I wished he'd get a grip already. The deeper he went into the forest, the more likely he was to get attacked. We had to hurry. We all split up to search for Lev so we could cover more ground. I didn't see any trace of him at first, so I thought I must have gone the wrong way. But then I noticed footprints that looked like someone had slipped over a nearby ledge. And sure enough, when I peeked down, I saw a familiar figure sitting hunched over, knees to his chest. He looked a little scraped up, but didn't seem to be hurt badly. I was just glad I'd managed to find him still in one piece. When I told him I was a Skyfarer, he immediately burst into tears of relief. I could tell he was upset with the villagers about something, and that's why he couldn't be honest with them. But as an outsider, I thought I might have a chance. Watch closely. I'm gonna cast some special magic just for you. It was time for one of my master's patented magic tricks. I showed Lev my empty palm before covering it with a handkerchief. I flung the cloth away, and voila! There was a piece of candy in my hand. Wow, candy! Here, you can have it. After devouring the candy, he finally calmed down. Thanks. Normally, that would have been enough to lift any kid's spirits. But his face fell again as quickly as it had lit up. I guess he really doesn't want to go home. I decided I wouldn't leave him until there was a smile back on his face. While we were still deep in the woods, I decided to ask Lev up front. Why did you run away? He hesitated at first, but after seeing that I was serious, he started to open up. My mom and dad used to work as doctors in Tempeel. Back then, all had been well with their family. But when Furikin went berserk, they lost their home and ended up moving to Folka. And that was when things started to fall apart. His parents began to spend all of their time tending to patients who were affected by the disaster, 
with hardly a moment's rest. Lev watched as his mom got paler and the black circles under her eyes grew darker and darker. He begged her to take a break, but it was no use. Eventually, she collapsed from overwork. I told her she wouldn't be able to help people anymore if she got sick. She just wouldn't listen to me. And here I thought he was just a kid going through a rebellious phase. That wasn't the case at all. That's really grown up of you, Lev. You're just worried about your mom and dad, huh? Yeah. After hearing Lev's explanation, I finally understood how he felt. I knew how hard it was watching people you cared about pushing themselves too hard. I couldn't stand to see my master doing it either. And that's exactly what was going through Lev's mind. He wasn't being selfish. Everything he did, it was because he loved his parents. If it were me in his shoes, I'm sure I'd be worried sick about my parents, too. There's nothing wrong with worrying about your parents. I'm sure they're proud to have a son who cares so much. But... But what? Something was still on his mind. I always wanted to be a great doctor, just like my mom and dad. But after my mom collapsed... I started thinking maybe everybody else was just using them. Along the way, he'd stop being able to trust the people of Folka, and he thought feeling that way meant he could never follow in his parents' footsteps. Lev stared at the ground as he spoke, finally confiding his troubles to me. After hearing his story, I began to open up about my own parents. He listened to my words in silence. My parents had also strained themselves too hard after getting sick, and eventually passed away. So Lev's circumstances were all too familiar. Just like him, I felt nothing but bitterness and despair. There was one difference. I've got to admit, I envy you a little. After all, your mom and dad are still alive and well. <sighs> While we were standing there talking, Lev's parents and the villagers were probably beside themselves with worry, braving the dangers of the forest to search for him. When I told him that, Lev finally seemed to grasp the situation. I really messed up, didn't I? I'm sorry. Are you sure I'm the person you should be saying that to? I stood up and smiled at Lev. He and his family all seemed like really good people. The only thing they needed to patch their home back together was a long heart to heart. Take this one. Be on your way.
All right. Time to go. Here, Here we go. Whole circus, huh? Keep on your toes. <laughs> Little present for ya! Consistent in this one! It's over! Eat this! Watch out! Here they come! Burn you up! No Here you go! Nice this should do the trick! Mm -hmm. I'll show Not you! For ya. <laughs> Oopsie daisy! Let's do this! Light wall! Trigger fingers in. Uh oh, this guy looks strong. You better watch out. Armor break. Winter strike. Come on, you're done. Roger. Yeah, 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 yeah.
need something? Which will it be? Please come again. Enhancing your sigils? It's a great success. Which weapon shall I strengthen? Let me show you what my master has taught me. I'll unlock the power of this. Thanks for coming. Well, now. Another satisfied client. Ready for some action? Take care. Yes. But... Don't let this be your final call. You better nab those limited items before they fly off the shelf. We have a wide selection of sigils. Ready for some... Faction? I knew we could do it! folks got your friend back. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Lyria. I'm Zothba, an information broker. 
Must have been tough out there, huh, little lady? Um, yes. It was. <sighs> Sothba, do not frighten the poor child. Huh? Who's being scary? I'm on my best behavior here. <laughs> it pleases me to see that everyone is in good health. I came to lend my support the moment I caught wind of Avia's assault on Seed Hollow. Speaking of allies, I don't see Roland with you. Where'd he go? He needs our help. Your eyes tell me more than words can convey. It must have been a horrific affair. Maybe we can do something for him, though. <laughs> you in, Histi? Most certainly. I am off to make arrangements at once. Alright. Call it intuition. Or an overactive gut. But an epic storm's brewing in this here sky dome. I don't know how to explain it, but the air's buzzing with emotions. Stuff like joy, anxiety, sadness, anger. You can tell when it's coming to a head. <sighs> I haven't felt this spooked since the Dolly Island disaster 15 years ago. My point is, you folks ought to haul it back to your own Skydom. What? You can't say that at a time like this! Look, my sources tell me you hail from Fanta Grande. You've got a fine ship that can cross the Grim Basin. No need to play hero here. It's not like that! We can't just leave everyone when we know it's coming! Lilith is going to use something called the Pillar of Vayoi to destroy the sky! Do we just let her do it? And what about Roland? Let me be the voice of reason here. You saved your princess. Mission accomplished. So what do knights do after rescuing the damsel? They make sure she stays safe. You're an excellent captain, and so I don't need to spell out your next move for you, do I? Appreciate the concern. Well, your crew's grown on me. That's why I will take it from here. <sighs> Come on. All I'm saying is don't push your luck. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? We both know I can't talk you out of this. But Zega Grande is our home. At least let us keep our pride. Be seeing you around there. And quit with the long faces. We can handle this. Roland made it abundantly clear that Angramainu is more than Zega Grande's problem. That power can and will consume the skies. Exactly. Um, so what I wanted to say was... We got you, Lyria. Just take a look at my butt. Ah, welcome back. Grand Cypher's good to go. Are you ready to leave? Let's fly. The air currents have become unstable. Keep your wits about you. So, are we really doing this? What's the plan? We are going to rescue Roland. <laughs> right on! Mission numero uno! He's the reason we were able to save Lyria. Now it's our turn to repay the favor. And I gotta thank him for taking such good care of the Grand Cipher. I'm with you there. But this ain't gonna be a walk in the park, you know? Huh. <laughs> Bring it on. There's no turning back anyway. Hang tight, fix it, dude. 
we're a coming for you. Let's give it everything we've got. A more fearless crew there never was. <laughs> Let us wish them well. They're the perfect folks to defy primeval gods. Kinda glad it's them, and not me. And so our debt to them grows heavier once more. Well, enough yammering. We got our own work to do. Must have dropped it during all that hubbub at the castle. Be sure you return it to him whenever he gets back, eh? Wind's running wild today, but it's nothing the Grand Cypher can't handle. We finally have Lyria back, but there's not even time to celebrate. Lilith is so close to her goal, she's become blind to everything else. I doubt there's anything that can stop her now, except us. It might sound melodramatic, but this is fate. Our crew versus Lilith. So there's only one thing left to do. Fly to the Pillar of Vioi and end this. The sky's a shocking shade of despair. Guess we got Lilith and Angra mind you to thank for that. That pillar scares me more. Lilith called it the bridge to the astral realm, right? Only Angra mind you can open the gate. That pillar must be like an altar for the rites. Look at the very top. It's the light the gate came from. We have to go investigate. Stupid Lilith! What might I do? Building creepy pillars in our sky? She's gonna pay for this.
<laughs> Great. What hole did this weirdo crawl out of? It's part of Angra Mine you. Okay, so it's <laughs> creepy and hostile. At least it'll be a good warm up before the final match. Are those little ones also part of Angra Manu? Yes, but these actually have physical shape. I think our attack will work. Ah, uh, weird portal just opened up. Think it's because we trounced all those mini Manus? What? It doesn't feel like I'm cutting anything. Whoa! We did go through that rift, right? It looks like we're still in the same place, but everything's all hazy. Look, the monster from before. Is it just me, or does it appear solid now? I bet it's because we went through that funky portal. Ah! I knew it was a good no, idea. No. Ah, ah. Yeah, that's oh, good now, are you? I don't think we'll make it very far in this haze. Let's pass through the rift again and return to the normal world. Well, now that those spooky portal monsters are gone, what say we get a move on? I can't believe they were residing in a different dimension. It must have something to do with Angra Mainyu's powers as gatekeeper. I'm as shaken as you are, but at least we have a strategy now. Stuffy. Feels like I'm suffocating. Same. It's like this place. Ah, is... How many spare parts does Agra Mine you have? You all know the drill now. Wait for the mini mine use to pop up, then blast them. Heads up, crew. We got spooky company. Calm down, Rex. They seem like normal monsters. They must have been summoned here by Angra Mine you. Take him! Heads up, people. Great! Fighting shadow people in a shadow world! Really not where I want it to be right now. I don't think mortals were ever meant to step foot in this realm. Let's try to stay by the portal, in the light. Now we're cooking! Finally! I hope we never have to do that again. Jeez. Shadow portal, shadow people. What's next? <laughs> Great. Nick, Nick, Jack, got your back. You're all set. Take care of yourselves, okay? Wait, I think I sense a primal beast, or at least something that feels like a primal beast. And this presence isn't Angra Mainyu? No. Impossible. Lyria, we're hopping between <laughs> dimensions at the drop of a hat. Nothing's impossible. We'll 
talk later. Revenge comes first. my life! Talk later. I don't trust your hero act. After Burikin's dusted, I'm gonna make you spill your evil master plan. <laughs> I forgot Furikin could do that. It's a threat to become even more lethal. We can't afford any slip up. Maria, get someplace safe. Okay. Can't win! They're moving in! Just hold on. They have to let up eventually. Furikin's clothes are gonna land a lot harder now. Try not to get hit! Now the party begins. Well, the lady, shall we dance? Is anyone hurt? I feel like a million rupees. But, uh, what are we gonna do about him? Id, <sighs> wait! You want to stop Lilith too, don't you? After all the time I spent with you, I know how much you care for her. But even if you love her, after what she's done, we have to stop her. My mother. Or Lilith, I should say. Intends to sacrifice the future of this world. I know I can't let her get away with that. But I can no longer feign innocence. This has gone on long enough. You wanna come with us then? Huh? <laughs> you wanna stop her and so do we! 
choices don't get any easier than that. How about it? We can use ya! <sighs> Why? Considering the scale of violence I inflicted on your crew. Well, in the end, you did help us. Join you in the fight against Lilith. <laughs> Let's stop her. Let's do this. Welcome to the winning team, Ed! Yeah... You're not much of a people person, are you? Sorry. <laughs> hey... I know you'll get the job done! Wanna strengthen your weapons? I guess you're ready to take your weapons to the next level, huh? Working on your weapons? Your mom, right? Adoptive. We're not related by blood, but I owe her my life. If you want to turn back, no one will blame you. I've made my choice. You might say that now, but when she's right there in front of you, it's gonna be tough. I'd rather face her myself than have her suffer in some hands. As family, you must feel responsible for her crimes. Very well. We'll respect your wishes. It, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Last time we crossed swords, you transformed. Oh, yeah. What was that? <laughs> yeah. I thought you looked like a giant lizard. Well, you're wrong. That was a manifestation of the dragon power sleeping within me. Lilith trained me when I was young. Taught me how to control them. I thought I'd be saving the world with them, but... You will be, kid. That's the whole reason you joined us on this crazy mission, right? Um, Ed? What is it? I wanted to thank you for protecting me while I was imprisoned by the Church of Avia. You're thanking me? I was the one who captured you. Yes, that's true. But you also helped bring me back to my friend. If you'd left me with Lilith, 
Who knows what would have happened to me? Yeah, I guess. I think I'm having deja vu. It. Those monsters share a body and powers with Angra Mainu. Defeat the small one. Understood. at all correct yes i think it's because time and space is so unstable here reality is getting all mixed up but whoever heard of a shadow with the destructive force of a primal value truly is fearsome Well done. 
Catch my breath. Wait, you're gonna sleep here? We owe you a long time. It, I've always wondered. When you were part of the church, why did you go to such lengths to protect Lyria? I was only following orders. At least at first. Lyria was the key to bringing salvation. But then you learned all Lilith wanted to save was herself. Lyria was no more than a means to an end. Once she had made Lyria absorb enough primals, Lilith meant to free Angra Mainyu and sacrifice all who opposed her. I gave myself to Mother's cause. I trained and you. trained to protect her vision of salvation. When I learned it was all a lie, my life was devoid of me. There was nothing I wanted to fight for anymore, except Lyria. Now I'm protecting her because it's the first thing my heart's ever told me to do. This silence is unnatural.
think Roland's okay? I can't say. There's still too much that we don't understand about him and Lilith. Let's see. Not bad. For the love of... What is it this time? Look like weird icky stuff is coming to swallow us. Yeah, I don't like the look of that. Who knows what'll happen if we touch it? I sense something. It's the primal beast from Fondom. Please tell me that's a bad joke. Don't we don't have any you. real estate to fight on. No! We've reached a dead end! By the way, huh? Aren't you? But I suppose etiquette can wait. First, a dance. to bring salvation to the skies. Now at last, we can rise to the occasion. Look at that. Who knows what'll happen if we touch it? Then something. It's the primal beast from Fondom. Please tell me that's a bad joke. We don't have any real estate to fight on. No! We've reached a dead end!
decided to switch teams. Not that I don't appreciate your help, but uh, I've had my fill with bloodlusty carnivores. Why, I never! Would you kindly refrain from comparing me to General Chalanza? I am here as a matter of pride. If word got out that the vanquishers of my dear fellowship suffocated in a pond, I'd never hear the end of it. I wasn't in a position to admire your sword play before. Let me say now, your skill with magic blades is unparalleled. That's quite flattering. Especially because you've only seen the opening act. The sword play allied itself with Avia to bring salvation to the sky. Now at last we can rise to the occasion. No! Appreciate the support fire. Hey, you cleared the way. Don't do anything rash. Got it. Looks like the tempo's about to pick up. Get away from the snake! It's going for our footholds! Other than the miniature dragon, I don't suppose any of you can fly?
Watch out! Ready for action! Face the music! Tango with death. Mistake, Skyfarers. This was merely a matter of honor. Do not disgrace yourselves by thanking me. And so, I bid you adieu. Whew, I can't huh? believe we're still breathing. Quick! If Magliel hadn't come, we'd probably be s'mores by now. It's too soon to celebrate. Come on. Panacea! For a lifesaver! Ceiling's gotten higher. Should mean we're almost at the top. The more I see <laughs> that sky, the more I hate it. Yeah, Lupin's got some messed up taste. This should be the last battle. Make sure you're prepared. You're almost across the finish line. Be complete. Take care of yourselves, okay? Oh, hey! You seeing what I've seen? Is that the gate to the Astral Realm? It looks even scarier up close. Strange, isn't it? Gateways are usually a symbol of hope and new opportunity. Not this one. Like Roland said, if that door opens, then the skies will fall. We won't let it open. Yep, we'll beat Lilith, grab Roland, then skedaddle out of here. Sounds like a plan.
Had you only seen things my way, this pitiful fate could have been avoided. Why must you insist on quarreling with your own brethren? It's unfathomable, truly. Impeccable timing, as always, I see. Can you feel the grip of imminent salvation? I invite you and your other half to watch. <laughs> and it is this betrayal? <laughs> hmm. Where did I go wrong? You can't sacrifice our skies to open that gate! We won't let you do it! This is our home! And it means more to us than you'll ever know! Blowing up a world to help yourself is just how selfish can you be? Once I reach Estelusia, I shall guide this world to Utopia. Why would anyone reject my heartfelt invitation? Ah, <sighs> how I pity you poor misguided creatures. Yeah, like we give a crap about anything you say. Your messed up Utopia is built on sacrifice. No way we're letting that fly. <sighs> Options fail me. I can no longer sway your hearts or minds. As a parting gift, may you all find solace in death's warm embrace. Heads up, you big dumb bully! It's only called salvation when you're actually saving people! It, please don't disappoint me any further. You can still redeem yourself. Eradicate these miseries yeah. and come back to life. Please listen to me. I think you've lost sight of the big picture. What's a few skydoms when compared to all of eternity? I really shouldn't breathe in that <laughs> I can just absorb Angra Mainyu. <laughs> I'm afraid that's impossible. Angra Mainyu is completely under my command. Ashes to ashes! Ashes to dust! Yes! The captain's here! Watch out! Short on power. Astraeus, be a deer, won't you? Damn! Hang in there, Roland. We're gonna save you. Why, struggle? The sooner you accept death's embrace, the sooner you can be at peace. Please, you have to understand. This isn't salvation. It's destruction. Take me for. Ah! 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 Ah
Celebrations, but we're not done yet. For a fraction of my soul, I'll buy all your death. Her power's flowing into Angra Mainyu. She's attempting a fusion. Is she that desperate to live on, even if it means she'll stop being an astral? Keeper, Angra mind you. I beseech you, bequeath your power unto me. Take this vessel. I am yours. Something terrible is coming. So invested in our skies. There's so many of them! Don't let the pressure get to you. Just focus on beating them one at a time. What? Damn. I just keep coming. How are we supposed to get to Angra Mining now? Follow me! I think I can buy us some time. I need everyone to gather around. I love it when other people make a plan. Fight your way to rolling, everyone. Why 
quite a raucous affair we have here. Let's calm it down before it gets more out of hand. in the sky. It's time for us to join as one. The world rests in our hands. What fun is a death match if my opponents are already dead? This is the moment of truth. Do not falter! Whatsoever you decide, we will follow your lead. Each shot costs us a mill. Okay, so what? Those folks are betting their lives out there. So shut your yaps and keep firing! Everyone's here! Our bonds are stronger than ever. We shall prevail! Let's show her what's up, Captain. Us Sky Dwellers are taking a stand. Yeah! You foolish heretics! Pay for your sins! Watch the video! This will help them the music? Ready, Captain? No sweat, right? Support you. We're all here for you. Let's win this! Together! Yes. Enough of this madness. I hear ya! Go and get ready for the coolest fireworks you've ever seen! Roger that. I'm locked and loaded. The skies are calving on us! That's what you made up, boy! For today, we're working for charity! We shall round up these petty servants of evil. They're more than master we need no to you. <laughs> you know what the best kind of fight is? The kind that never ends! Where on the sword veil fellowship, you will not get past me! They're holding back the shadow on me! Now's our chance to get Lilith! Just my luck. Isn't it beautiful, Lilith? This is the power of emotion, the undying light of the heart. This is where our research should have run, to the strength sky dwellers derive from love. Love of home, of friends, and of family. But somewhere along the way, you turned awry. You found a window into the darker emotions of the mortal mind. You prayed on fear and desperation, making empty promises. Aggrandizing yourself until the people worshipped you as a god. You took advantage of their fate and raised armies that overran the Sega Grande sky. Think back on all the violence you've incited. Does that really look like a path to Utopia? Your megalomania is a threat. No matter where you are, I will never let you return to Exolutia! I'm done! It's over! Using punishment! Oh, world! Is it really worth it? Okay. Hold on. Just a scratch. I need a Let's get you tied. 
Why do you expect that they should care for you? The faith you've created is a monster. It offers nothing but empty promises while devouring the hearts of your followers to feed your insatiable egotism. One down, one to go. Congremanius' power is dropping. I can feel it. We've escaped certain death for now. Don't stop attacking. Whatever it was about to do, I think we stopped it. Music to my ear. Blast away. Come on. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. It was a pleasure. This is gonna burn. Here goes. Blast them full of holes. Piercing the punishment. sins are grave, too great to measure. Don't you see? You were wrong to think of sacrificing this world and its people. It's not too late. It. I'll accept my fate, so please. I'm sorry. truthful with you from the start. divine right. The sky is once more yours to sunder and renew. Primeval dragon, child of darkness and flames! <laughs> Shh. 
It's okay. Let me be the one to save you. Huh? Perhaps I acted in haste. So swiftly you sensed the dimensional distortion. Oh, meddlesome wings. You who defy the stars. You will sleep within this child until I have further need of you. The stars await, and we mustn't keep them. The true beginning stirs. had become a dragon and vanished into the somber skies. His roar, which echoed like a distant peal of thunder, electrified me with sadness. <sighs> Can't believe it. I thought if we beat Angra Mainyu, we'd be free to go on our merry way. No kidding! Why did it have to go off and become Bahamut? Right. In which case... Hey, what are you thinking about, Rowan? It's like you've got all your gears whirring. It's starting to come together now. Especially if she used a Mind Sealer on him. The Mind Sealer is what they used to rob Lyria of her free will. What does it have to do with Bahamut? Everything. Lilith and Bahamut, destruction and rebirth, everything is linked. How about giving us the gist? Essentially, it comes down to why Lilith failed to wake Angramainu 15 years ago. I heard the Sky Realm's Bahamut appeared after sensing an overwhelming astral presence. Perhaps that was more than rumor. You call that the gist? I'm even more confused. Sorry. Fifteen years ago, Lilith summoned Angra Mainyu. At the same time, Bahamut manifested to face her. But this was not the same Bahamut you all know. Let us call it 
Bahamut Versa. It sensed the unfathomable power of Angra Mainyu and consumed it. Stopping Lilith in her tracks. But now... Perhaps, to remove Bahamut from the picture, Lilith trapped the Primal inside Id, using the Mind Sealer. Okay, but that doesn't explain why she suddenly freed Versa. Does she want to wreck the skies, or what? She once told Id that she would destroy the world to bring about its rebirth. Versa is more than capable of forcing reincarnation upon the Sky Realm. In any case, we know one thing for sure. If we leave Versa to its own devices, it will be the end of all life as we know it. You've got to be kidding! How are we going to defeat a World Crusher? And what's going to happen to Id? You aren't asking us to kill him, are you? got a debt to settle with that punk. Can't let him off so easily. How do you know Id's still in there? Even Bahamut's got nothing on Id. Exactly. Guy with a stick that far up his butt, even an apocalyptic dragon couldn't push him down. Even if we can't get through to him, he'll survive a beating. He trounced us, right? been around for a long time, but you Sky Dwellers never cease to surprise me. I never would have dreamed that a single crew could save Tempeel, or pacify Excavalion, or defeat Angra Mainyu. But you've taught me that it's not longevity or physical strength that's important. It's the power of your heart. You have my complete faith. I believe that nothing in all the world will keep you from saving your friend. It's settled. We snap Versa like a piñata till it coughs up in. Yeah! Yes. Good. No. Ready. Yeah, that should work.
action. You'll agree, <laughs> this bread is the piece I've got all sorts hey, of items. What can I help so then? Right then. Which will it be? What do you say? Will you accept it? Be on your way!
welcome. Please, show me. Temper in your weapons? I'll unlock the power within. Leave it to me. Thanks for coming. Miss us, Captain? Butterfly alights. And just in time. Blast them! You have my place! 
complete. That was 
Great. I owe you much. Yeah, we got the stuff. Did you expect any less? Take this one. Be on your way.
Understood. Let's go, Captain. Oh, you're in for it. Right. Look out for any large attacks. No problem. Cut them down. Great job, team. I bet you say that's all the help. Just leave it to me.
we go. Did you wait long, Captain? Leave it to me. I went well. Let me show you what my master has taught me. Unlocked. Leave it to me. Take care. Sky, what do you have on you? What you got? We buy. Come again. You won't be sorry. Hello. Which will it be? Can get the jump on you. Look Here alive. goes. Keep that coming. This is our They're trying to hit you from far away. Get up. Following. It's working. Keep it up. Understood. Let's go, Captain. It's working! Fire! <laughs> 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 gotta keep it up! Follow <laughs> hey, my lead! And stay out! Ah, we kicked some serious butt there! Let's keep it up! Uh-oh! Ready to face the music? Not so well. Lots more where that came from. It's over. Come on! You You're him. done! Not my plate. Teamwork makes the dream work. It was a pleasure. I owe you much. Not a single fatty left. Let's go check out the next place. Here. 
slow then. So long. Good day. Which will it be? Will you take this one? Best of luck.
Catalina! I'm here!
As we made our way back to town, Lev still seemed anxious. Don't start freaking out yet. First you need to apologize to your parents. Then you can tell them everything you told me. Well, how am I supposed to say it, though? Talk about helpless. Lucky for him, he had a grown-up lady around to nudge him in the right direction. How about I teach you that special magic I showed you earlier? But that wasn't real magic, right? It was just some cheap trick. Uh, rude. It was good enough to make you stop blubbering, wasn't it? Come on, let me see your hand. The trick I showed him could be used without any special training. It was the magic designed to bring smiles that my master had taught me. Lev watched me closely, then tried his best to copy what I did. He practiced over and over and over. After walking through the forest for a while, we heard the voices of Lev's parents and the other villagers. Lev? Answer if you can hear me! Where are you, Lev? Mom! Dad! As soon as Lev heard his parents' voices, he broke into a run. At that moment, the villagers' shouts echoed through the nearby woods. Look out! An enormous figure was approaching, knocking down trees as it lumbered toward us. It couldn't be... a goblin? Intruders, die! It all happened so quickly. The goblin lunged to attack Lev's parents. You're gonna have to go through us first. Huh? Lev was speechless. It seemed as if the entire town of Folka had stepped up to protect his parents from the monster. <laughs> what I did next was purely out of instinct. Freeze! A block of ice appeared out of thin air, slamming into the goblin's head. Tasty meat, you first. The spell had done its job. I'd gotten the goblin's attention. I finally made a breakthrough with Lev. I wasn't gonna let Monster Breath over here ruin their happy reunion. Bring it on! I've got a spell with your name on it! I wish there was something we could do to help her. I'll try mixing up a potion. That should do the trick. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
me. Yeah, you got it! Twice. He's putting up one heck of a fight. No. She needs medicine, quick! Here, you I whipped up a potion for you. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. She might actually do this.
vault, so I can't back down either. I'll use the magic master Zaka Tabu to make everyone smile. down all by herself. <laughs> First you saved Tempeel, and now us. Thank you, Skyfarer. The people of Volca were all safe, including Lev's parents. After thanking me, Lev turned to the villagers, shuffling his feet nervously. I'm really sorry, everybody. Thanks for protecting my mom and dad. Come now, there's no need for that. We're the ones who ought to be thanking your folks. They've done so much for us. Sorry for everything we've put your family through. Lev and I shared a glance before he turned to his parents, finally telling them everything he'd been bottling up inside. His parents and the people of Folka listened intently, nodding every so often at his words. You only ever had everyone's best intentions at heart, didn't you? We're so sorry for making you worry. I chalked it all up to selfishness and immaturity, but I should have heard you out. I hope you can forgive your old man. I was just glad everything had turned out all right in the end. Eel! We're here to help! 
Sorry, we were clear on the other side of the woods. What happened to that giant monster? What the heck? You're the one who said heroes always arrive just in the nick of time. But what kind of hero arrives after the fight's already over? What does that matter right now? Here, let me take a look at you. You're not hurt or anything, are you? <laughs> you have no idea how much I wanted to tease Rackham for losing his cool. But I held it in. It's really nice knowing you have people who care. day. Which will it be? Please come again. Fresh insight. Great.
living up to my potential. That's nice. Let me show you what my perfect. I'll unlock the power. Leave it to me. I went well. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Let's go. This world is precious. I mean, even the god of destruction can't bear to lose it. Our bodies might be mortal, but our hearts are infinite. Though he's in a dark place right now, I hope it doesn't lose sight of that. But even if he does, I'll open his eyes again. I, this crew, will never abandon someone we care about. The sunrise spills over the Grand Cipher as we rush on the winds, chasing the sorrowful cries of a faraway dragon. Support. I won't waste it! The spell is perfect! And yet...
It seems the binding is only half effective. <laughs> Captain, the rest is up to you. You must save it. with this process may have far-reaching consequences, but I want to believe in the limitless potential of Sky Dwellers. I want to believe you can rewrite even the laws of reality. It's hurting really bad. Sad and empty. We haven't known each other for too long, but I can feel it. We wouldn't want things to end like this. We don't have to save him. vessel for 15 years, and yet you, a mere mortal, survived. If I should fail to rescue you, I don't think I shall ever forgive myself for the rest of my long, long life. In the past, I had nearly existed. It wasn't until you Sky Dwellers let me into your hearts that I learned what it was to live. Unlike immortals, you are capable of change and growth. All I want is to be a part of that help you build a glowing future. As an astral, I am also to blame for the failures of my people. And I swear to you now, I will set things right again. I don't like to admit it, the gods are a little beyond our skill level. We need more firepower. I think you mean dragon power. Lyrian, do you feel up to summoning Bahamut? Okay. Give me some time. Oh, yeah. Trick. Oh, miserable Benny. That is the light of the apocalypse. The fire of doomsday. Its power is transcendent. If the attack lands, all the skies will be obliterated. You have broken the charge, but it's already stored up considerable energy. We're trying to fry it, dang mammoth! Everyone, gather around me! Get to Lyria, now! I'll keep you all safe, I promise! Unless my eyes deceive me, 
is under all those scales. Isn't it? He's been tainted by Versus' destructive urges. But it seems his body and soul are still in one piece. And that means there's still hope. If you can sever the spiritual shackles that bind Eid to Versa, he'll come back. Don't you remember? You made a promise. Is this your idea of protecting Lyria? You finally crawled out from under Lilith's thumb? And now you're gonna let yourself be crushed under verses? Not a problem. Leave! You can't push us away? Without us, you're pretty much the awkwardest person I've ever met! <laughs> He's right, kid. Hey, you need us. Run away! Please! Run! I thought you knew us better than that, Id. None of us would ever abandon a friend. Miserable You know, Rolf is so stubborn, Id. Can't let the world end here. You haven't even had a chance to live your own life here. Live. Oh, my God. 
Anything happen to you or our world. Our journey can't end here. It's not water. We're gonna take some dragon tail and go on sailing to the end of the sky. Captain. The captain's here. Huh? Captain Blade! Bring it! Absolute zero! It sooner. No use running anymore. I am who I am. Oh. <laughs> An evil dragon, child of darkness and flame. Absolutely amazing. You've suppressed Versus Core and driven it back to its home dimension. Is everyone safe now? Thanks for everything. <laughs> you can buy me some apples on the way back. Huh? We're still not done.
Forgive me. <laughs> Kids these days, you two are totally <laughs> nuts. Let's roll into you, Bernie. You okay, man? Where are you? Hmm. Good question. Someplace far away? Hey, this ain't the time for jokes. He and Bahamut are trapped on another plane. Think of it as a sliver between dimensions. Still, considering his transceiver seems to be working, For now. Sadly, I think my time's almost up. The line's going to get cut earlier than I'd hoped. Thought I'd still be able to open a gate from here. Guess not. Isn't there anything we can do? Sure, just stay calm. No need to worry about little old me. I'm Mr. Fixit, remember? There's no jam I can't get myself out of, you know. I'll make it. Roland. One last thing. So until I get back... Intend to get back by that to do the check-in on the people of Fort I don't want them to lose sleep over me to be stuck in this bad trip. <laughs> <laughs> Where we bumped into Roland when we first arrived in the Zega Grande Skydom. I have to atone. Huh? For Mother's crimes and mine. Come on, no need to beat yourself up, kid. That's right. We couldn't have resolved this without you. Let's 
visit Falka. Couldn't hurt. Bye, Min! <sighs> Are you good? Oh, wait. Don't let me off so easy. I'll well deserve an apology. <clears throat> Cut the formality. We already said it was fine, right? <laughs> One of us now, not me. Never forget everything you've done. Never ever. <sighs> and when we find Roland, we'll give him the thanks he deserves. We've met so many people in the Zega Grande Skydome. New friends. New allies. We saw a man torn in two by family and betrayal. We were saved by an immortal who found beauty in our changing world. Through loss and adversity, our resolve brought Lyria and I closer than ever before. Yet this story is far from over. A good friend is still out there. Waiting for us to come get it. And as for our journey, there's still much to see. To the ends of the skies where the stars reside, someday we will reach Asgard.